and welcome back to the Stream of Chaos. I'm Jackson, and I'm the Keeper of Arcane Law for this session of Call of Cthulhu. Today we're continuing on with our playthrough of uh, Not the Two-Headed Serpent. Damn it, <laughs> I almost said it. Dave sent me his script, his intro script. That's why it was so polishing and I almost said Two-Headed Serpent, but that's okay. We're continuing our playthrough of Amaranthine Desire, a scenario from Nameless Horrors, which is available for purchase at chaosium.com. You can watch all of our streams on YouTube uh, or live on Twitch every 5 p.m. on the Friday nights. And we're using Roll20 and Sirenscape to enhance our role-playing experiences. I say we stream live every Friday at 5 p.m., but if you're watching us right now on Twitch, I'm sorry to say our schedules didn't line up. This is pre-recorded. <laughs> we, we can't see you in chat. I'm so sorry. Um, Although some of us probably will be now. in chat, just some hanging us out. Some in chat, yeah, so insulting us, and we'll have we'll no idea. Us sounding off right now. Yeah, someone's got a host right. at least. <laughs> yeah, so you have some idea. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Speaking of, you know, chunks of time that have been coalesced and captured and, and moved in a bubble out of time. Mm -hmm. Let's see what our investigators are up to. Far flickers the flight of the swallows. Far mm -hmm. flutters the weft of the grass, spun dense over desolate hollows, more pale than the clouds as they passed, thick woven as the weft of a witch is round the heart of a thrall that hath sinned, whose youth and the wrecks of its riches are waifs on the wind. That's how Algernon Swinburne described Dunwich on his visit in the mid-19th century, and that is what our investigators are seeing as they are here in uh, Dunwich Forest, not from their own time of 1895, but seemingly trapped in a pocket version of Dunwich outside normal space of time as it was in 1287. They've found themselves here. They've been exploring the uh, the immediate surrounds. They've uh, uncovered kind of bits and pieces mm -hmm. of a mystery, a windmill, an arson attack on a windmill, a murdered priest engraved with uh, bizarre sigils, uh, a missing girl said to be the, the sailors and the fishermen's lucky charm. And, uh, and not only that, the tolling of a bell that sent them back to the moment they arrived. With that, we should meet our players, and I don't know what the best order is. I think we only go Art first? Art, kick us off. Hi, uh, I'm Art. <clears throat> um, last time I checked, I think I think that's still me. Uh, and uh, again, last time I checked, <laughs> I was uh, playing uh, Elizabeth Devereau, uh, who is a uh, described officially as Lady of Leisure, um, who has, you know, decided to go bugger all that. Um, I want adventure and excitement, uh, and has decided to go on a smuggling operation that has led them here to this weird time bubble. Um, I think, given given that they sort of put, uh, she put a fair amount of, of what was going on together before we had our first little loop, uh, this is still something, it's definitely, you know, to, to take a ye olde phrase, given are the willies, um, but uh, like, is, is also a point of like a little bit of excitement and an interest, because uh, this is, you know, kind of an adventure um I mean, that's good to hear it's all about your outlook it's all about how yeah. you treat it yeah uh i definitely have some questions about what i what what state we find some of uh elizabeth's artifacts in but that can wait till after the introductions oh, oh we all have questions um speaking of which speaking of whom here's a segue to our next player Dave, you're running the stream. You got to tell me who's so next. I'm I next. Go, I, I can know. be next. I'll go. I'll throw right, myself in. <laughs> Whenever there is a choice to be made, I choose myself. Yeah. Um, Excellent choice. G'day. I'm Dave, and for this scenario, I am playing Tobias Levitt. He is a like corrupt customs official who's very used to paving his own pockets with coin. Uh, he has been thrust back through time and through a curious 
series of rolls has peered beyond the veil of where we currently are and seen the horror that lurks beyond. He is convinced that this is all an illusion and I think he's operating on this as a sort of purgatory of some kind. We died mm. in the storm and now we are in a sort of holding room until we are judged worthy of either hell or heaven. Uh, given this place has so many places of worship and things like that, seems like it's kind of ticking the box for, for his uh, his ideals. And I gave up all the money, so I'm pretty sure I'm going on the good one. And can't speak for the three of you. Also, funnily enough, you know, in a situation, making the best of it. Yeah. Well, making something of it. That's all that matters. Um, I guess if I'm choosing who's next, we'll throw to Alex. Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right, Jim. It's me. <laughs> I'm Alex, and I'm playing Emmanuel, uh, the professional smuggler, who is a lady of no such leisure. She is a uh, hardworking, a little bit concerned about what's going on. Yeah. Still hates the English, <laughs> but has bigger concerns right now. Mostly the the time skip, the moon thing, the the the, the priest, very concerning. And if we don't get the contraband back, she's not getting paid, so. So it's moon, <laughs> priest, English. Getting paid. <laughs> getting paid. <laughs> maybe maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. by the end we'll have a good order for it. <laughs> and finally, the rest. Oh, I'm the rest. <laughs> and I'm, I'm James. Uh, I'm playing Richard Garrett, a batsman. Uh, I tend to deal with the thugs who try to mess with the smuggling operation. Unfortunately, not a lot of thugs around at the minute, mostly time dilation something i'm not really working under any assumption because i haven't put one together yet i'm taking the time to massage my temples and go this will make sense at some point until then uh, follow types stay the course whatever that one may be and uh keep a hand on my bat should it be needed good plan perhaps it will so we'll pick up again um as you can probably tell as yes if you were watching last time um there were a few bits i forgot i was kind of making things up at the end there with a, with a little like a prep and such i would like to retcon a few things um one thing and just give you a little bit more clarity for the bits i was messing up at the very end of last session you were in the harbor inn you were talking to sailors and they were discussing the disappearance of their good friend sarah brown and i wanted to like clarify some of the facts and figures there sarah brown was a lucky charm for the local sailors and fishermen for many years um her mother died in childbirth her father died when uh, when she was just 13 mm -hmm. and so that's how she earned a living for many 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 years it was like in being particular. a lucky charm like being on ships being a lucky and charm. yeah like yeah yeah the, but people would pay her to be on their ship be on their fishing boat and it seemed like you know um the, the sailing ships would always have clear weather and the fishermen would always come in with a huge uh, a huge catch she was just a lucky charm and no one could do anything about it and then the bulk of her career was spent in the employ of a man's name William Levitt, a merchant of great, uh, great success, made That's a lot of me. money. And oh, that my... happens to be Tobias's name, Tobias Levitt. So we'll pick that up in a second. Um, and also, just to clarify as well, she has gone missing, which had the sailors so concerned. She's been missing now, like you were at the night. She's been missing for two days. No one's seen her. It's the end of. It's the middle of the night. No one has seen her for this day just past, and no one's seen her the day before either. So they weren't stressing too missing. much at that point. Okay, interesting. They were concerned. They were saying, maybe she's been kidnapped. Maybe she's left town. Maybe she's given up on us. Mm. Um, yeah, some are more well, some are more concerned than others. I think it would be fair to say if someone's missing for two days, you don't panic, but some people would, would be very concerned. Actually, if you might have been planning to take a ship out the next day. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. It's just the it's just the, the the modern news cycle. You know, these town criers, they just set everybody off. That's it. Would I be able to make a <laughs> retroactive history roll, Jackson, on my family yeah. then? Like, if I know in, anything about old Bill? In particular, you would recall without a roll that, yes, William Levitt would be a uh, uh, an ancestor of you, but any further de details would mean need a intelligence or history roll. Intelligence or history. Terrific. I mm. have... Am I intelligence? 
<laughs> I am very intelligent, actually. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> what's the old history look like? I think I'm quite good at history. I'm, I'm solid. Well, my intelligence is significantly higher. Uh, so go. have at it. He says despondently. God damn it. <laughs> oh, actually, I want, any, I want the information. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in favor yeah. of that one. That's outstanding. All right, so once again, back in the Harbour Inn, um, uh, Tobias would have heard the name William, William Levitt and gone, oh, that's a name. You remember reading about William Levitt uh, as part of your interest in, in your history. In one set of documents, you remember seeing a sketch of him and a drawing of his house in Dunwich and a short account of his life. He was a merchant. He was, uh, he, did, he did pretty well for himself, you know, in, in many ways. He set up your, your kind of modern family, family wealth and, yep. and for standing. Um, he did have a bit of an unfortunate end. His body was never found, but it was presumed that he was killed in the storm of January 1st, 1287, oh, washed baby. out to sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I'm going to kill him. You know that his house was in the merchant's dis <laughs> What? I just that's that's where if that's... this is a if this is a groundhog scenario, I'm killing him. <laughs> that's no, this is, that, that's what ancestor. I'm saying. If there's time ancestor. travel, I'm killing his ass. Obviously what's the killing what's your ancestor called. is generally frowned upon in time travel situations. So he's already had time. the kid. He's ahead. already had the kid. And actually they might free me. I gotta wait, you have to fit the everything has to happen as it happened. <laughs> Yeah, was, was, he, was he a good or bad person, Jackson? Was he like a nice dude? That's the kind of. Oh, I'm just. You were. I mean, history. This is your family history. It's like yeah. people would have written out the nasty bits, but so, also like this is one ancestor in a long list. It was only a short account. It was really just the, the basic facts. Is what I'm you saw. I'm assuming he was a great but, guy. But yeah, sure. You're welcome to. Um, you can, you, you would know that, uh, you would remember that his house was in the merchant's district and you could probably identify it on site given the, given the ornate carvings of a lion's head above the door. Hell yes, I'm going straight there. That is what Tobias was thinking about just as the old man in the corner of the tavern stumbled over. Um, I think he introduced himself, probably. He did, he did. Maybe and not. he told us he was old as balls. Hen Henry, he, he, Henry Scott but also stumbled young over. As also hasn't been, hasn't been born yet. He's he a 30-year-old man old and had not who been looks born. 70 or whatever. Henry Scott stumbled over, told you, said you weren't here last time, asked you how old you thought he was. He looked to be in 60s, 70s. He said he was born 30 years ago in 1753. And then the bells began to ring. The town dissolved around you and shimmering back into place. Once again, you are in the forest where you first landed in 1287. Hate that. Then we repeat some words. I have a question. I, I, I also have one. Mm. You go ahead, Art. I feel like we all have questions. I, Mine is exactly. if I look in my... We, we established that I took some notes I'm assuming on a notebook that happened to be semi-waterproof or protected mm. in some way, shape, or form, because we did get dumped in, in the ocean. Um, but I, I, I don't think it's unreasonable to have, like, a waterproof pocket in a, like, yeah. sailor's sink. Oil cloth, anyway, oil cloth we, I took some notes of some symbols. Yep. And I'm um, curious to know whether those notes are yes. still present. I I would say yes, your item. Okay. That, Ooh, so no, that I, that's going to mean yes. we can bring stuff if this yes, loop I'm happens. Yes, I'm going to say the, the items uh, that you had uh, as they were. Yeah, because you. Mm, yeah. I'm going to say anything you might have picked up in the last loop is gone. But you have everything you came with, and yes, your notes are still there. Without trying to to be that guy, what about stuff we've lost? Because we do uh, give a shitload of things. I was hoping you would ask that. Oh, my dollar he does. All of that is gone. You gave all of your money and treasures to uh, your, uh, uh, Tobias, oh, emptied good. your pockets, all your pocket change, and gave it to the beggar at the street, and that has not magically returned he, to you. Hell yeah. He probably won't, re like, he won't remember that generosity. So that's. Uh, well, this time that's... I'm going to try being a dick to him. This time I'm going to steal from him. <laughs> Kick him in the neck. I think <laughs> we should find that. I think we should find the, 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 the old, old, young 30 year old from the 1700s in the pub. I think we need to find him again. What about my ancestor? He knew what this was. He, told, he was talking about also, last time. He knows what this is. There's also a chance that we could theoretically try and leg it to the windmill before it gets on fire Here if that's are. an option. We also, listen, we, we don't have enough time either. When the bell tolled, how many times did it toll? Did anyone note? Like, do, do we know how long we have until this is gonna this is gonna happen again? Was it like four in the morning? Was it six in the morning? I didn't uh, track. yeah, it was. 
last loop you were like you were you, you were uh, unsure of yourself you were a little bit more leisurely it took you a while to get from place to place um just without tracking it minute by minute so i can say that now that here on the second loop you've got your bearings you can probably get from place to place a bit quicker so like from a meta perspective i think you will be able to get you'll be able to get more scenes in before the yeah. bell tolls if that helps and also let's just let's just hoof it do you I want think, to try and go I for the windmill and find just, I mean, what are we just to set the this? just to set the scene again? Here you are in this uh, in this uh, full moon night in the middle of a forest. A path uh, leads to the northeast, which is what you followed last time. And once again, just as last time, the moon is blotted out as an owl swoops low, tra following the trail to the west. Listen, which hey. we went north last time, not west. Yeah. North yeah. Northeast. Okay. You're on a path. The path goes to the northeast, and the path goes to the west. There's one What's more the clue we haven't discussed. One more thing. We know basically that that priest was from St Bartholomew's, right? That's our guest. Mm. So it sounds like we've got three things to check inside the city. We can check out the family house. We can go and talk to this old uh, guy. You know, we can kick the beggar in the neck. That's another important lead. But in all seriousness, they're in a different direction. I don't know what benefit there is of all of us going towards the windmill. It might kind of be a one-off thing. Windmill's I mean, on the way, up. though, basically, isn't it? Yeah. That's true. You're in the woods, You uh, the w uh, windmill is between you and the city. Oh, I was going to say, if it was, I, I have picked a different direction. Never mind, let's hook into the windmill. Go, I, go, I, go. Well, yeah, we I, don't I also know whether we need to go that direction. Because, well, we want to go to the city, right? We want to ask that yes. man who knows what's happening, what is going on. He knows what's happening. Yeah. He mentioned Is there any benefit time. before we do the things we've already done before? Is there any benefit of going the other way? And if, if this is, in fact, a loop and we have, we have infinite no goes around, we don't know we don't how know. long I don't want to be trapped here for infinite time. Infinite. That man that we saw, he's aging. Time is passing. We are getting older. Think, yeah. I, I will not be trapped here. Loops. I, don't I will think we have infinite time. That man knows something. We have to find out what he knows. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run to the windmill. I, I, I think it's right. a good idea. We're not just going over treaded ground. We're getting further this time. It's a good enough start. I'm like backing down that side of the path. It's, uh, we don't know. We, it's not guaranteed that this is going to keep happening. Yeah, let's let's go. It could have been a one off. That's right. it. No more chances. Fantastic. Oops. With without delay, you uh, hoof it. You are sprinting, uh, not sprinting, but you know, traveling at a at, at, at a clip. So not a wager confident to pace at the beginning, and it yeah, immediately yeah, yeah, winded. <laughs> we catch up to Tobias like very quickly. Richard, but carry me. <laughs> certainly faster than the first time, and uh, yeah, you, you you follow you you retrace your own footsteps. You follow the winding path through Dunwich Forest, and you emerge just as you did before. Um, as the trees thin out, there's uh, a, an empty snow-dusted field spread out towards you, and in the distance, a windmill, not on fire, oh, spinning lazily in the gentle winter breeze. And just as you emerge, you can see coming down the path, coming down the, the road from the city, a single figure in robes. Spear tackle him. That's yeah. I, I, okay. I, I, I will spear tackle that man. <laughs> Sounds great. I'm I think we all in. instantly go for a different side because I go to yell, hello! <laughs> so I'm going to spear tackle that man. That's hello! great, I love it. Because in which right. case I run Wait, I hold run on, the... hold, please. Is hello? this man coming towards us? Is he between the town and the windmill or is he further than the windmill? Because that would be different from last time. Uh, you are, you've just come out of the forest. There's an enormous field in front of you. At the other end of that mm. field is the windmill. Also, you can see, like, next, beyond the windmill is the city, right? Yes. And you can see coming down the road from the city toward right. the windmill is a figure in robes. Right. Okay, so that that's what I was checking. Is like, it's not that... It's that we have gotten there before he's reached the windmill, okay, so. not yeah, he's, he's a, passed the windmill and now we're no, in, like, yeah. a different setting. It's the same. Sorry, yes. Essentially just double-checking that we are... This, ma this figure this is... is a, you've, you've arrived before the windmill's on fire, and you've also arrived before this figure breaches the windmill. Great. Which, and this is either the priest who's about to eat it, or... The person who's going to eat the priest. The windmill uh, we, on fire. We've so got I'm a description in robes, and I'm also... <clears throat> fairly convinced that someone is probably already in there, maybe with oil everywhere. So if we were going in different directions as we all arrive, I'm going to pivot and, unless someone yells, head up into the windmill. Okay. 
Okay. I, I actually am going to hang back a little and I'm going to make a note for convenience for myself that I am taking notes. Like, this is a, a thing that I have my little notebook at because yeah. I, I know yeah, that yeah, we've yeah. got it. And I'm like, and I've jotted down in the time that we were sort of like faffing around a little bit, that initial conversation that was happening, I've jotted down the main points that we hit last time. Um, and I'm just jotting down the, the like, oh, we, we're obviously a little bit ahead. Like, I'm going to try and keep tabs of the changes or the things that we're doing uh, to try and get more information about about what's going on. Trying to put things together. Um, That's fun. Just Someone's in case this loop happens again, I want an account of, like, what we found out last time because it does seem like we do get a little scrambled at the beginning, and I just want to give us a quick, like, hey... Here's, a, here's cliff notes to get us all back on the same page yeah. about what happened, just in case someone gets a bit scrambled in the head and, and like, starts to think that they Good belong thinking. here. Uh, you know, to think ahead of the, like, maybe if a character goes indefinitely insane and like thinks are actually part of the world, uh, be like, <laughs> no, Elizabeth no, no, no. is like, Elizabeth has nominated herself secretary for this adventure and is keeping all the minutes, making sure no one gets confused. So it sounds like uh, you're kind of head heading back for a second, just like making notes, getting things straight. Yeah. Uh, uh, I will not be involved in the spear tackling or the windmill. This is absolutely a academic. Well, at some point, I have to write my version of Gulliver's Travels, so you know, right. I've got to add to the add to the collection. Yeah, <laughs> maybe as, maybe if uh, if Elizabeth survives, they should become a novelist. As Emmanuel is spear tackling the figure in robes coming yeah. down the road, uh, intercepting Rich is... because I might recognize intercepting. That that's excellent. The, well, because fantastic. If I don't well, recognize um, him, because I saw the priest's face, right? I was uh, you, yeah, you, you pulled so the priest's body the out priest of the mill. Who was about to eat it? Um, I will not spear tackle the priest. Understood. But if it's somebody I don't recognize, I am spear tackling them. Richard, you're, you're they did get a terrible, in... terrible thing. Richard's going to get into the windmill in what manner? Are you like sneaking or just sprinting? Uh, I know we're running up and I know that uh, Tobias is yelling, hey. Yeah. So we all run towards the priest. And then as we get to the thing, that slides out into the hand and I yeah. go uh, tearing up the windmill. I'm expecting to walk in to find a man next to a bunch of like oil ready to spread a holding a knife. Whatever, He's about yeah. to go, nah And I'm hoping to swig and clock him in the face. All right, fantastic. And so Emmanuel is going to intercept. Evil is in the windmill. <laughs> Emmanuel is going to intercept the figure and Tobias and Elizabeth shortly behind, also with the figure outside. Is that correct? Yep. I'm going, yes. That's yes. Right. Fantastic. All right. Well, yes. Uh, so, Emmanuel, we'll deal with you first before uh, we find out what is or is not happening in the, in the windmill. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, you're, you're kind of charging down at a focused pace, intercepting this traveler on the road, and sure enough, kind of you're meeting just like a short stone's throw away from the front of the windmill, and you're getting close enough now. Oh, there's no lights. Well, actually, there's no lights. It's, it's a full moon, so you can see the figure, but uh, it's before electricity, so you have to get the bridge to be close before you recognize between. that it is the priest whose body was desecrated mm. and uh, carved and burned and pulled and that thrown is. out of the windmill. That and is, here he is. is, living, breathing before you, and he kind of uh, gives you a warm smile and he says, Good morgan. Somebody just went in there with a really big knife. I think. And I don't think it's going to work out very well for you. I'm, Could you I'm just sorry? stay out here for one second? Uh, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, my, my child, please um, s slow down. Uh, someone with a knife. Uh, well, I think it's... it would have to be. Thank you. I, I appreciate your warning. You, you clearly are a good sort, a, a good Samaritan on the side of the road. Uh, I, I'm meeting someone in the windmill okay. tonight. Yeah, I don't, think they, I don't think they've got some really positive plans for you. I think they might actually have some very, some, some not, some not very good plans for you. Um, which might be hard to hear, I guess. Um, but if you could just not go in there for a second, I would appreciate that. If I, if I can join walking up behind and hearing that, who, who are you meeting with, Father? Um, this is a private matter. I'm sorry, my child. Uh, I, I was not expecting okay. to no, no, no. encounter any any uh, any travelers. Yeah. Uh, we were having a, a private private meeting tonight. Yeah, I, bet, yeah. I bet there's a lot uh, that you're I, not expecting. 
I, I'd appreciate a, a little more privacy tonight. I, oh, yeah, I, I'd be happy to that. meet you with you in the morning if you are no, seeking no, no, some no, counsel or blessing. Just, well, just wait out here just for one second. Uh, you be uh, whoever you're meeting. I don't think they mean you well. I think they mean you quite a bit of harm, actually. Uh, a disturbing amount of harm. Yep. I was really think about it, and I'd appreciate it if you could just hang out here for just a minute, just a moment, while we just. Oh, you're gonna need make some sure it's safe. We just want to make sure it's safe for you. Some kind of social role if you wanted to get Persuade? him inside. Persuade, because I am. I'm being yeah, honest. I'm not bothering yeah. this. Yeah. Is Persuade, but I'm like, if you could just please just wait here for a second. We want to make sure it's safe. Saw something suspicious. It's true. Yep. Nope. That's fair. Oh, oh baby. my goodness. Oh, very persuasive. If I'm very earnest, it's a. It's a if you could just please wait outside. It's just, An extreme you know, success. Come for you. It's, you know, it's a dark night, creepy people, possibly the moon on the flash of a knife, very scary. Fantastic. Just be here for a minute. I love it. Extreme success means, uh, yeah, you, you will stop for all these tracks and say, someone with a knife, you say. Possibly, possibly. You know, it's not unreasonable. It's a dark night, a bit scary, a bit spooky. You just hang here for one minute. What are you going uh, to do? I'm going to make sure it's all safe in there. It's all good and there's nobody in there. Meanwhile, in there, Richard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like just, and as I'm saying that, I'm like, whoever did this is probably a huge psycho when I did Richard's in there on his own. And I'm once, once I realize that he's going to stay, I'm going to. Yeah, you Excellent. should you should go help Richard. I'll stay here with the priest and make sure he's OK. Thank you. No worries. I will also stay with the priest much. because in the back of my head i am going the lie worked last time if levitt starts going rambling on about insanity well we have a priest here that i can be like we were hoping to meet someone He's because nuts. my friend here is a little um worse for wear in the old noggin i'm gonna make cool. a friend cool. so richard what are you doing when you get inside i heard that you're not sneaking yeah um, no, I... what is your what is your first instinct I, I probably I, I I can come in pretty heavy. I think I, I step inside. If my is my are my nostrils immediately assaulted by the heavy scent of rotten lard oil? What? Because this game does not have a smell roll. What's the deal with that? <laughs> spot hidden probably do it though. I guess it's not necessarily sight. Yeah. It's basically your senses. Mm. And cool. again, like or natural uh, worlds for distinguishing the different scents or something. I could see survival. Uh, no, I pay spot hidden. That's fine. I'm just spotting that. something oh. hidden. Do these rolls want to add a second digit? <laughs> no, no, this is, this is fine. Five, six, five, six. All right. Uh, spot hidden is fantastic. You would come in and you're on the, on the ground floor looking around. You would see somewhat hidden, but definitely placed here intentionally, are those pots, which you know to be full of oil. Yep. Okay, well. uh, here on the ground floor, you would open your nostrils and just in the faintest whiff coming from up above you, that distinct scent of oil, uh, lard-based oil. Mm -hmm. So the pots have been placed here on the ground floor. They have not been broken yet. Seemingly, it's already been spilled in the upper floor. I start heading towards the upper floor. That gives me an approximate location of where I know this person is. Um, I'm I'm going to be I'm coming in and as, as ready as possible. Basically, uh, same plan. I'm expecting a yeah kind of jump out, and I'm going to clobber this bastard when they do. All right, fantastic. So you're heading up to the second floor, and immediately the the smell assaults your nostrils. It is covered in oil and fat over here ready to go up in flames as you saw and at that moment a figure with a black scarf over their face as soon as you appear on this floor sprints over to the other side jumps out of the window will try yeah. to jump out of the window and onto that uh, conveniently placed yeah. pile of grain <laughs> that's why it was there it makes sense it was uh, his escape plan and I think we're going to a combat scenario. Oh, like as soon as you appear it. at the top of the stairs, the figure is going to try to jump out of the window. So let's have a look here, see. That would I... imply there is enough, that, like the windmill itself is lit because they can tell the difference between the priest entering and... and yeah, Garrett how would they know? Bat. If mm, I had to get close to the priest to tell You were having quite was. a loud conversation outside. 
I would pause it. Yelling at him. It I was. A... I, I was yelling yeah, hello yeah, as I approached. Yeah, so. I mean, it, it would make sense potentially that there'd at least be some kind Let's of like Jim candles or something. If you're meeting someone, I think we're all in favor like, of Jim being stabbed. Also, and I don't want to uh, risk not that not happening. If the windmill, it, it, if, is the windmill turning? Because if it's on fire, yeah. it isn't. But if the windmill's turning, that makes it a little bit harder to kind of get out the between the windmill. Yeah. I will use my keeper figure to say everything has happened as I have happened. Hell yeah. There's yeah, a exactly. good reason for how it, ha for that's, that it that's happened. Fair. There are many good reasons. <laughs> and does anyone have a dexterity higher than 75? No. Unless well, the, re unless the, no. re unless the readiness could be, if you'll permit it, Jackson, because the ready, having a ready weapon gives you plus 50. Specifically, it's for firearms because you go click and then they shoot. Ah, uh, yep, that makes sense. Never mind. Please continue. <laughs> get <laughs> stabbed, Jim. Stop trying to not be stabbed. <laughs> I want to be We're stabbed. We're trying to get him Put to the knife in, in him. <laughs> we don't want this guy to run away. We want him to stab Jim. I, I have a weird question and I don't know if it makes sense for me to have thought about it yet, but I've thought about it and so therefore I want to try a thing. Well, who's, go who's going first? Let's... Uh, I, I think this uh, black scarfed figure with 75 <laughs> dexterity, if he's going first, oh, yeah. then he is sprinting to the window and uh, he's going to jump out and does well, what, not... What, what, what's everyone's dexterity, just so I know? So it's... Uh, I'm, I'm, six, I'm 60. I'm 50. 50. Cool. Excellent. All right. Uh, so a dex roll for this figure to jump out of the window. Because... Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, also, Hilarious. we probably shouldn't know the name, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, no, we got that's a name. That's fine. It's not going to bother you. Yeah, it's not going to bother me, is it? Don't I don't know. know. I haven't like run a game roll twenty before, so I don't know Dave's all Dave's. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's I just changed the names. So of we get, we get names good. of people. Yeah, sometimes all right. it's all good. Fine. Get names. Uh, all right, so yes, he hits the ground hard uh, and grunts. Uh, I don't know what fall damage normally is in this uh, in this game, but uh, slap a d6 on it. I would say a d6, certainly, as that was pretty Just close to a fumble. Rule it, whatever. Yeah. Oh uh, my goodness! Uh, my leg! <laughs> yeah, we all immediately collapsed. <laughs> Damn! This was a terrible idea. I thought it'd be great to have him jump out of the window. The I think doesn't say he jumps out the window. He just say he attacks one of the investigators, and I thought oh, he's going to go out the window. That'd be great. <laughs> we so wanted that was him my to fault. One of the investigators. Oh no, this, this is, is great. He could still. For. Uh, all right, where is his hit points? I actually can't. See. I've never seen an NPC sheet before. Um, so it's oh, still, it it's right, still in the same. Yeah, you I can it. see it. Uh, so uh, uh, con, con roll to see if he stands. Says conscious. I think that's <laughs> fair to say. <laughs> oh. Hell yes. <laughs> I oh, love damn. that even as that is the we thing. are like... the perspective from outside. <laughs> is like, you, you, you stay here. We're gonna make sure it's safe. <laughs> you turn around, his body comes crushing as the pile. And just you look out the window and you. <laughs> and I put my head out from outside. And You're I'm, right, man. There. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm definitely going to like at seeing someone fall out. I'm going to run towards of, that, definitely. Of the three investigators outside, who has the lowest luck? Yeah, uh, drop on one of us. Uh, I'm 51. Um, 50. Uh, Emmanuel? 60. All right, so uh, Elizabeth, make a dodge roll. Oh, no! <laughs> yes. yes! I'm Give talking to the priest. Are we actually? I'll take it. The... I'll take it. I was I was standing right under the we're window, right at, sir. Right at the foot You're of the all window, talking to the priest. Okay, They're no, all no, falling over here. Yeah, yeah. Dodge roll. A bit further yeah. Back. No, no, no. No, because it had to be right outside the door. Yeah. Oh god. No. Thank goodness, uh, Elizabeth. I'd like to clobber you with uh, sure. with my thug, oh, since you didn't get to clobber anyone. So one d four damage, please. <laughs> Which is going to apply to all of us. Fantastic. Oh, all right. All of you at once oh. hit the ground, taking two damage as an enormous weight is thrown across your chest. And yet, Elizabeth, you would like push the figure off you and realize that uh, he has cracked his head quite hard upon the ground and is out <laughs> cold. This dude fully uh, sucks. Do I, can I, is there enough moonlight that I can like, if I pull the scarf away to look at this man's face, I can, I can get a like a quick, this is what this person, person. Look or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. individual, um, uh, just to like, he... I, I assume like as part of pushing this person off, their, their scarf will have somewhat been like 
disheveled so I can like catch a hmm. sight of. That's it. Uh, he is. Um, he's. Uh, he's. Uh, he's, uh, he's a man, and is. Uh, he's an adult man in his thirties, I guess. With kind of a dirty complexion, long and mangled hair, a hooked nose. He's dressed in dark clothing, as if you know, along with the black scarf around his face. He's. He was out here to sneak around. He's up to no right. good. This is a ne'er do well. I'd like to call the father over. Like oh, who like who shouts with alarm and says, yeah. "Oh hi." Uh, was, was he pushed? Who else is up there? C- come down. Uh, un- unhand yourself. He jumped. Oh, come I, 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 I would like to be I like, like, Father, come here. This man is like... hurt. This, this man is hurt. He needs assistance. Like, trying yes. to get... Yes, quite right. Quite right. Yes. Wait, wait, yes. Before, before we, before we do anything with him, Ed, could you just, could somebody just check? I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check him yeah, to see much, if he's got a knife. There's weird because... symbols and shit. Remember, he was it, all the symbols and things. Look, look for a book. I'm looking for Ooh, a book yeah. and a knife. That on is, him. I, I, I don't he is literally on top a, of me, or was on top well, of me. Yes, so I roll him off. Roll him. Yeah. Roll him off. Roll him <laughs> off. Yeah. The good lady. That is a great point. He totally has a knife, and I was wrong. He's age twenty-five, and he has yeah. a knife. Well, hard living makes you appear. What do you have? You know, but like I'm gonna because if he wakes up and just decides to whip out the knifey knife and stab you, stab. So gonna look for the knife, and he's got a big old, big old pointy on him. Uh, yep, one knife, and uh, sure enough, like you go through his pockets, there are a few scraps of paper and parchment. Hmm. I'm gonna look at the knife and then look pointedly at the I'm going to take a look at the I'm gonna take a look at like I'm gonna try hang on, what's my let me see if I can. In answer to your question you're about to ask, yes. 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 What what? They are the same vigils. I think it was a yeah. On the on the paper. Yeah. uh, This the this 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 sneak thief, this Mm. seemingly murderer for hire, is covering bits of paper with arcane sigils that match the ones in your notebook that you copied from the body of the priest who is now standing in front of you. Right. Can I... uh, I'm not going to take out my notebook at this point then, I just uh, because that seems like a silly thing to do in front of a priest. Um, But I I see these, uh, and I'd like to turn to the father and say, uh, Father, is is this the man you're meant to be meeting? Uh, (laughs) No. No. As it happens... uh, no, I was expecting to. And he's right at this point. Did you, was that an extreme persuade before? Yes. Fantastic. Well, in that case, yeah, he's inclined to uh, inclined to trust you. Uh, n- n- no, uh, no, it was uh, another man, uh, a merchant from the city, uh, William Levitt. Uh, oh, if, oh, if, if he's not here and this man no, is, sure. I, uh, I don't understand. I, well? I was coming here to. <laughs> I was expecting to be handed a witch, Mr. Oh. Levitt. He, he said he bought a witch and he was he was ready to hand him over. And I don't know. A why. witch hand him over. So a a a, a, a no man? no a, a woman. A uh, woman. Okay. Levitt, a he witch. told me he bought a witch and he he was meet me here and he would hand her over. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. A witch like. A woman who might be seen as, as a good luck charm doing witchcraft with weather stuff on ships and that kind of thing, maybe. This is fantastic. Kind of this is fantastic. This is, is going to be so easy. Really don't know that this we is fantastic. go and meet with Father. My name is Tobias no, no. Levitt. <laughs> I'm an ever. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna drag him away. Our, um, like, drag I'm him not away. sure why he would. Betray me. He's crazy. I'm sorry, my my head is beginning to spin. Uh, I believe I've just had a rather close brush with death, and you'll forgive me yeah. if I may need to sit down for a moment. Oh, of course, Father. Um, we need to get into the city. We don't have much time. Let's go. Actually, I'm actually I'm inclined to agree with you. <laughs> Not at least Tobias. <laughs> also, Let's... this man is is very badly injured after jumping out of a windmill. Um, he no longer has a knife. Good. Good. I'm yes, well, if he had a knife, I, I suppose he should be handed to the city guard. Uh, I would be glad to entrust that task to you, fine, kind, fair strangers. I, I think I should return to my church. Yeah, which uh, Father, what, what church would that be exactly? 
uh, well, uh, Saint Bartholomew's in the in the city in Dunwich. Huh. Oh, I see. Um, well, we we are actually um, travellers that, that were looking for. Uh, you know, uh, we'd heard there were a number of, of of churches in the city of Dunwich and were coming pilgrims, as it were, uh, and wanted to to pay our our respects to various denominations. Um, and Fine. Fine. Uh, Perhaps, perhaps we might uh, call upon you there uh, when, when you are a little more settled. Yes, thank you. Thank I, you. I, I, I should think I'll be otherwise uh, engaged tonight with with resting, of course. But I, I'm of course. glad to see you in the morrow. Is can can we um, can we assist you back to town? You seem a little unstable in your legs, Father. Um, and we'd thank hate you. to. Thank you, no, but uh, it's too slow. It's too slow. a short Did rest you? and uh, 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 a brisk walk in the night will settle my nerves. Thank you. I'll be fine. Uh, Thank you. One, one last thing, Father. Sorry, just, just before we, we take this man. Um, he, he had a number of odd um, markings on this parchment here. Um, I am learned enough to, to read somewhat. I, I am lucky enough to, to have that, but um, I, I'm not familiar with, with these symbols specifically. Is this language? Uh, father, uh, I am not familiar mm. with these letters. You see if he's got... Uh, he must have an occult skill? No. Um, he was I about to become the occult skill. <laughs> uh, I give him an education role. Uh, you're showing him the papers? Uh, yeah, as in, I'm not showing him my notebook. I'm showing him the papers. Yeah, 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 no, be like, course. this was on the man. Are you, I, do you know what this is? Okay, um, excellent. Um, his eyes kind of... Furrow, and then there's a faint nod in recognition, but you get the sense, even without a psychology role, that he's not like fully on your side. Mm. He's not running from you. He knows you, that you're not a threat to him, but he's not yet like letting you in to everything that's going on with oh, him. Oh, of course. Uh, uh, in that case, I I will. Oh, it's witchcraft, I believe, uh, of the most heinous kind. Thank you, my child, for taking those uh, i should like to keep them as evidence and um study them more closely but before burning them I, I really don't think this needs to fall into anyone else's hands well oh, of i course, think we should take them to, to, the, to the constable correct uh, we, we can we can take all... the gentleman to the constable but I, I believe quite right elements of witchcraft should be best left in the hands of the clergy and i'm going to try and like emphasize to the party like it's Fine, you can have these. <laughs> We're gonna go get them. Yeah. By the yeah. way, here's who you're talking with. And you can show the viewers at home, Dave. Ooh. Hey. Oh. Right top. Uh, he looks like a nice guy. He may have introduced himself already if you hadn't asked as Father Joseph Finch. And here is the brigand, the near do well, who is unconscious on the ground. Ralph Hawkins. Not that you know that. Not that we do or as he goes by crim in criminal circles, all glass shins. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, very good. Well, I mean, we from from seeing what was done to the priest, I can get a vibe of what I like of the use of these symbols now, and obviously they are quite clearly occult in nature, especially if the priest is, uh, has, has indicated that he's aware of what they are. Um, I would be curious to know if any other clergy know what this is outside of people from St. Bartholomew specifically. That's, that's a little pin, uh, cause if it's only St. Bartholomew's and that gives us a, a direction. All the same, by the time the bell tolls, we need to have solved this problem or it will all happen again. So let's get on the road, find a beggar, and let's 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 tick some boxes. All right. Um, are we going to carry this man or should we send the guard back to fetch him? Uh, let's chuck him oh, in a bush. So how does this work? He's failed his con rolls. That means he's unconscious. I'm just going for a D4 hours, D4 hours if you want Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, he would be unconscious for a little bit. Um, I mean, oh, we could, he's out, uh, but you could probably wake him up. It, can I make a, I can make a first aid check. Maybe I just rouse him and then on your feet. Come on to the constable. Or we can, you. or we can just we leave him unconscious need... and send the guard. Up. Well, None of yeah, this matters. The, the problem is, 
if we go, if we take this guy to the constable, they're just gonna be like, "Oh, cool, you just kidnapped this nice young man," because without the priest, without, without the dear father to corroborate the story, we're just gonna be blamed we'll, for this. Let's it's chuck him in a we'll bush. We'll send them. It's it's fine. Yeah, let we, you, you're we'll, right. We'll, we can just leave him. Or I don't know what I'll be doing once we get to the city. I'll take him to the constable. This, Maybe something like that'll work. This man Give isn't real. He is a oh, spectre no, or some sort of test. Just chuck him in a oh, bush yes. and let's get on with things. He... We're having this conversation as an aside, please, Jackson, and not directly in front of the oh, priest. Of course. Well, if you've let him well, go, he'll be able to quite like to speak to the priest. He's oh, okay, cool. back towards All right, the, he's, he's yeah. wandering. All right, very good. I was going uh... to. All right, well, I mean, can one of us carry him? Like, you know, fireman's carry I'll, I down the it. road? I'll, I'll just log him. Great. I got it. It's fine. Well, then who's okay. going to carry me? Well, I don't Put know. Put the life Mr. preserver Levitt. around your neck and come on, Given I'll lead the... you along like a stubborn mule. <laughs> <viewer. laughs> Given the uh, given that your family seems to have a, a play in all of this horror, I suppose you know you wouldn't consider walking now, would you? Why does my ancestor being involved in a witch trial mean I have to walk through the woods late at night? Uh, nothing. Being a man and being responsible for your own bodily autonomy is a reason you should walk through the woods, Mister Levitt. Very well, as long as we're moving in the right direction. I set off yeah. confidently once again. My feet hurt. <laughs> oh, I really am regretting getting involved with this gentleman. This was fun. Um, I'd like to fall back to uh, Mr. Garrett um, and just say if Mr. Levitt does in fact start to um, jeopardize this operation, uh, you, you wouldn't be so kind as to take care of the problem, would you? Sure, yep. Standard donk on head procedure. Didn't even need to do it for this guy. Please dog me on the head and immediately KO the whole party. <laughs> <laughs> Please do uh, that. But yeah, actually, that, that's probably be like maybe not. Um, we all not just a, fall a physical, over. just uh, just just incapacitation without injury this time. Do keep in mind we are all somewhat connected in that regard. In oh yeah incapacitate without injury. Tie him up and put him in a bush, Mr. Garrett, if necessary. Okay, I, I can do that. That's simple enough. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate it. Why we need it. scientists? <laughs> yes. Um, shall we? Heading towards to? the city. 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 Yeah, right. to hand As this I'm... fellow in to the constable and to try and get to the... I would say we, we beeline straight for the Harbour Inn. We know where it is. We don't need to speak to yeah. the, the beggar I, at this point. I want to go straight to my ancestor's house once we get there. I think it's perfectly fine for us to split up. Why don't I take old mate here to the constable? Seriously, might be able to get some information from the constable. Uh, some people head to the pub, some people head to Levitt's house. Someone could go to Bartholomew's mm. church. Generally, the priest won't be there now. You could actually have a bit of a schnoop. Hey, well, that's a good idea. I, I think given given I seem to be taking notes on, on what's going on, I suppose talking to the, the man who's been here for a while uh, might, might be the best bet. Um... Uh, I can take um, some Bartholomews and and see, see what see what they can see what they can see see what they can sneak. If that wouldn't be too much uh, to ask, it's not that much of a departure from my day job, honestly. <laughs> Let's all rally at Levitt's place in once we're done with what we're doing. Let's all meet in the woods at the start of the night. Yeah, well, it's gonna be really not, convenient, that is not actually. That yeah, is, well, I don't know if I get the doors shut or something. I'm, I'm just telling you what I'm gonna do. I'll turn around. Fair enough. Perhaps, that, perhaps we meet back at the, the, perhaps the inn rather than Levitt, just in case Levitt doesn't take kindly to a. What's the opposite? Some of a predecessor. Some, some random, some uh, uh, um, descendant. Descendant. Thank you, uh, descendant. Uh, some, some, but first of all, he knows some random man, claiming to be his great, great young whatever. I, I suspect right. the inn might be a safer place to meet. All so right. if, if we all meet there, ideally before the bell starts tolling, please. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll see you all in heaven. Uh, it's not how this. Oh, I'm I'm concerned about leaving him on his own, but I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll be with family. It's the best place for them. All right. So what's the plan? Who's going where? That was I'll sarcasm. To be clear. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am headed to the inn. I'm be learning to the inn. I'm heading to the constable. I guess I'm breaking into a into a, into a 
church into a. Oh no! Yeah, we're all going to different great. places. Oh boy! Yeah, all sorry, right. Jackson. We're making this no, easier as possible. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be Deep fine. Deep end. <laughs> we we all have anxiety about the bell. Therefore, we're like we don't know. We're gonna divide and conquer. Yeah. This no, time we may right. change our minds right. very You're quickly, right. but you know. That is the best way to do it. Um, I didn't even know who should go first. You're all doing it at the same time. Who wants to go first? Help me out here. I'll go first. I think what are you doing? Quick. Fantastic. All right. So the cop once be again, like, don't trust you. Lock him up. Yeah. <laughs> In the cell, you go. Take him away, boys. <laughs> You're all moving down through the moonlit night, down uh, away from the windmill, heading up to the city once more, just as you did mere hours ago, uh, entering the Golden Gate as a beggar you know to be called. Walter Lucas reaches up, arms, any arms, ah, and yeah, yeah. sees one of you carrying a body and just kind of closes its mouth and slinks back a little bit. All you right. pass uninterrupted. Perfect. At least Very for this good. All right. And, uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, pointing toward, oh, I mean, uh, Richard. Actually, I don't know the way. Find Lucas. the city jail first. I go back to the back. Lucas. Lucas, where's oh. the jail? Sorry. Where's the? I know you, the sir. Constable. I need to find the constable. Uh, the constable, sir. Well, I mean, uh, this at this uh, late hour, it could be could be anywhere, and and my my memory is not so good as it once was. You see. Uh, um, well, I'm so I hungry. I'll hand over a, a coin. Oh, uh, well. I, I I assume like the the coins I have on me are like, like I I have a credit rating of seventy. I'm going to assume I'm Ooh, not going to have fine. too much problem with with just like kind of handing over a handful of coins or like I a couple of coins. To I would like, say, Tobias yeah. also has a high credit rating, but I think he I gave all mine away handing over coins because they're all gone. Yeah. Uh, but yes, no, yeah, and uh, also knowing you know. that like the cost the. <laughs> A couple of coins for me is pocket change. A couple of coins for this man with inflation. Quite right. Uh, quite yeah. a lot of money. So if I'm handing over like a coin, that's a, a fair amount if I oh. take into account the, the reverse of inflation. Thank Shame you, man. Thank you. Yes, of course. You'll find the city jail and he give you directions straight toward the city jail. Great. Thank you, Mr. Lucas. Uh, we, we were told uh, that you had a photographic memory of the city. Oh, well, yeah, well, that's uh, that's very kind. We haven't told you that. I do know these streets fairly well, and uh, I'll be happy to uh, lend you some guidance. And it is a service I can provide. Yep, I appreciate it. You have a wonderful. Evening. I'm sorry. Have have we met? Oh, I don't recall. Not in this life. No, uh, please, please. Um, no, uh, we were just told that you had uh, a very good knowledge of the city, uh, of and so. Um, I'm essentially just giving him a reason, like, we know his name, and I'm giving him a logical reason that we might know it, whether Very he good. believes it or not is entirely up to him. And in, um, and, and in fact, somewhat irrelevant. He's just a bit here at the gate. He'll be fine. <laughs> and All also, right. I've given him money. <laughs> Hopefully that will smooth things over. Um, but yes, I've given him a logical explanation to why we know who he is, just so that we can continue without him being like, I have a, I have a question. He can be like, that... Is a ridiculous answer, but he can think that after the fact. And it is done. And if you have no more further questions for him, you can carry on. We can just get directions for like each of the locations we're going yeah. to, just to tick that box, and then we'll all chip oh, off. Oh, okay, yeah, of course, of course. And it is, and it is done, as you say. Terrific. All right, so on to a town by night. Um, we've got Richard heading to the uh, city jail. Um, there it is. I don't know what a medieval city jail looks like. I guess it's like uh, 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 like a slow kind of stone building. Oh, yeah, like a big kind of box-shaped gray stone building. Um, probably like resembles like a fort in miniature, right, with high walls, few windows, except for a few at the very top, maybe some murder holes, right, like arrows. and. I mean, it's quite uh, possible that if this township has some kind of fort or castle or something like in its center there it would be not. some kind of like i mean there'd have to be something that see. was here that's older than everything else uh that's not usually how townships churches, are maybe. built up no really this one was the dunnage is kind of built as you know like off the prosperity of it being such a good trading port mm. um in the in the fairly the, recent yeah. couple of centuries then i suppose just some kind of secured 
yeah, stone building. Chuck this bloke through a window. Yeah, I basically, I, 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 I thought mine would be fairly fair. Don't do I, the... I, 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 I pound on the door. I dump the guy. I explain you can have it corroborated by the uh, the priest at St. Bartholomew's. Um, and unless unless this leads to me getting arrested somehow, I, I I will I toddle off relatively quickly. All right. I mean, you're you're doing a you're doing a a, a pretty good job of getting getting out of this scene pretty quickly. I guess we'll probably sh slow down just for a few seconds. He wants to know who who this is that you brought, uh, who you are, who has brought this in. Uh, he goes, tell me the story from the top, and I want to yeah, see if I can. Traveling with, uh, I'm, I'm a, ma a manservant in service of a, a, a dignitary traveling through the area. Uh, came across this fellow lurking around. I was going to burn down a windmill. Uh, you go to the windmill, you'll find all kinds of oil in it. So he was going to murder a priest. You talk to the priest, the priest will corroborate it. So I, he jumped out a window, didn't even need to strike him, knocked himself out, uh, brought him to you. All right, all right. Well, I'm going to have to get a few details off you as well, sir. Your name? Sure, Richard. Any family name? Garrett. Very good. You're traveling through, you say? Yeah, in, in the company of a, of a foreign dignitary. You ever met this man before in your life? This man, never. Where are you staying? Staying uh, with my dignitary boss. Uh, I'm to find them at an inn. They'll be making arrangements. Uh, get yourself to the harbor and we're going to have to come back and... Ask you some few questions. It's going to be a right. He probably I'll, like snaps. I'll he snaps around the orders for a few of the guards behind. We got. We need an increased patrol in the streets tonight, mate. Seems like there's some near do wells and Hawkins Hughes. Just the first of them. Happily happy to help. Have some kind of persuasion role because you know, as always, untrusting folk of strangers. Yeah, let's see if uh, you're looking for any excuse to put you into a jail right now. Fair enough. Um, I will make a persuade. Where's my persuade? Uh, twenty-one. Uh, I will. I will lock that. I don't want to get arrested. All right. <laughs> Locking. Mm. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. I'd love to see that's you push fine. that roll, but that's just me. <laughs> that would have been fun. No, I, 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 I will. I will lock it away. All right. Very good. I have no reason to keep you here. I've not got no reason to keep you here. As I said, stay where mm -hmm. you are at the Harbour Inn. We'll send some lads over to have some questions for you. And we'll find out exactly what this what this young man was up to. He's unconscious. I'm just glad he's to be thrown into a cell. People have done it. <laughs> <laughs> he is thrown into a cell, and any answers he had thrown with them. Hmm. Huh? What's everyone else up to? That's ominous. Thanks for that, Jackson. Um, <laughs> no worries. Go to the going to go to St Bartholomew's at oh, a but... fairly swift pace and try and try and. Get there before the priest, maybe. I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm going the to the harbor in ostensibly to make arrangements, but to try and find the old man. Or even if, if I get there relatively the same okay. time as him, I can see where he goes places, does things, checks stuff. Especially after seeing those notes, he might be inclined to, you know, check on the other stuff he's got and make sure it's all safe. Either way, works for me. All right, he's Fantastic. old. I'm young. Let's, Let's go to Tobias first, and uh, he's going to the old Levitt estate. I go sprinting through the streets to get there, hurtling <laughs> round corners, and I arrive out of All breath right, and mate. hammer on the door. All right, mate. All right, hammer on the door away. You recognize, <laughs> uh, of course. Oh, you sprint straight there. As I said, you know he lives in the, in the uh, merchant's district. You recognize, you would recognize the carving, the sink carving, the line above his head. You don't have an address, so you find it without any trouble, but I won't say that you go direct there. But regardless, sure. uh, there you are, knocking on the house. It's an imposing three-story structure. It looms over the street below. You can see some candlelight coming from a few of the windows. And there it is, the ornate wooden carving of a roaring lion's head looking down on you. <laughs> you hammer on the door. Uh, and uh, it's cracked open by uh, a man in his late 30s, dressed as a manservant. And he simply says... Uh, I'm sorry, sir. The, the hour is late. The master of the house is not home. I invite you to call in the morrow. I urgently need to speak with Mr. Levitt. It is of great importance. Ah, 
Well, yes, we, we can arrange that as soon as possible no. when the sun arises. The sun... As I said, the hour is late. There is no time to wait, sir. It must be tonight, before the bell tolls. You say he's not home? If you can direct me to where he is, I can find him myself. Um, that is, uh, uh, does not uh, encompass my duties to reveal my master's location to any Tom, Dick, or Harry who comes knocking in the dead of night. So I will thank you, Listen, sir, to come back in the morning. I don't, I don't want to get curt with you, man, but I'm not just anyone. My name is Tobias Levitt, and I know a great many things about your master. Sir, I also know a great many things about my master, including his immediate family tree and genealogy, and I am quite certain that there are no Tobias Levitts related to him. I list off a number <laughs> of other family members just to show that I know the tree as well. Like, I just ding off a couple of kids and nephews and whatever, and then I say, this is important. Either fetch him now, tell me where he is, or I will make myself known otherwise. Uh, I'm hearing some kind of social role. I think intimidation. All right, that's fine. Is what, yeah, I'm, certainly is got what I'm hearing. You've certainly got the same brand of intimidation as, uh, as his master, uh, uh, William, <laughs> has. You know, if not the exact same kind of family, family intimidation. Yeah, I'm trying exactly. To say. Have a role. Let's do it. Let's 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 get it. Come on, baby. No. Oh my. Huge fan. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Sir, do you think I have not seen this scam before? Anyone can find out the family history it's and memorize a... a list of names. It does not entitle you to any share of my father's, my fa my master's inheritance, just because you claim to share a name with him. It. I'm sorry, but I've seen this play before. Entitled? Do you know what I've been through in the last few days? This wealth, this great prosperity, does not just come to someone. They have to work for it. I've drowned two nights ago. I've been burnt. I've seen the windmill go down, and I've seen the reality begin to collapse. Now, I need to find your master, and I need to find the witch he's holding. Can I push this roll, Jackson? Oh, can yeah, you boy. push this roll? Yeah. Um, absolutely you can. And I'm willing to make a to huge the door. scene. You're now ranting and yeah. raving, making a huge scene. And I think scene. I'm trying absolutely. to push my way in. Um, we have just heard that, like, uh, you know, in the time it took you to find the house, yeah. there will be an increased patrol Terrific. of guards Terrific. on the streets. Yeah. Push away, Ooh. sir. Push away. And I'm, I'm going to try and force my way in the door. You certainly can. Thanks. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Even I feel like failure. Huge. Bad. I feel like you're being very kind Lovely to me, well. Dave. I feel like you're speaking a suboptimal route to make up for the fact that Hawkins fell on his ass and was knocked unconscious. Yeah. So uh, I'll take it. I'll take your thank charity. You. And I'll thank you for it. All right. So uh, once again, uh, the, the manservant who you know probably like doubles as a as a bodyguard at some uh -oh. stage. <laughs> the little old man I'm picturing up. just grew yeah, four yeah, yeah. inches and Plexes doubled inside. You? I'm like, huh, I mean, that's weird. Like very, very specifically said, um, a, a man in his 30s. So not yeah. an old man. Oh, a guy yeah, who's very much capable of being like, none of this. Yeah, his job Ugh. is to keep people his master doesn't want out of his master's house, and that's what he will do. You, and as, as soon as you start ranting and raving, you probably go, he probably like takes a different track a little bit. He does not let you in. He stands firm and he says, ah, yes, I understand, sir. Thank you. You've made it all clear to me. And we are going to get this all sorted out with this guard over here. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, guard, over here. I run. Uh, are you sprinting? <laughs> I run. I, I fully sprint away. Outstanding. Um, you'll have to remind me what the chase rules are. So it's a constitution uh, roll to set pace. Uh, and Fantastic. then if you want to run a whole chase, it's a whole thing. <laughs> uh, it'll just be like a quick thing. Are you going to get yeah. caught or not? Is that constitution or is more like a Constitution like a full chase to set speed. You, you could definitely just handle this like contested dex, dex or something if you want. Fantastic. Oh, I have stats for the uh, for the Dunwich City Guard. Yeah. Nice. Let's have a look here. Dunwich City Guard. Uh, use the following for all guards. Wow. All Dunwich City Guards look the same apparently all right fantastic so i guess i mean if it's to push a, a failed push roll i mean oh, yeah. let them get close enough yeah, to have yeah. an attack on you yeah uh, 
Do you want to uh, dodge just, a boss? They just start clubbing. <laughs> I guess right. if, you, you go, if you go for a dodge, you've got a good chance these, of getting away. These fucking cops are the worst. Richard turns up with a person. They tried to arrest him. They turn up to me, immediately swing at me as I try and run. Well, no, no, no. Yeah. I totally think it's great. I, I, I I'm being a nuisance. Love it. Love it. They have been told there is trouble oh, on the streets tonight. And I'm being a menace. I was screaming they're, and trying to force my way. They're in the nice part of town. <laughs> a rich, uh, the servant of a rich, wealthy man has said, this man is trouble. Yeah. Um, do you want to have a dodge or a post? I will to, dodge, uh, to thank get away? you. Dodge. Excellent choice. You roll first, right? Or do I roll first? <laughs> uh, only if I want to spend luck. I will not like that. All right, very good. Um, they El have batons. Elsewhere. Oh, oh, God. oh yes. Oh, I got seven uh, damage. We'll Holy also shit. Miss. But uh, yeah, I won't get you with seven damage. Um, Imagine if we all just suddenly took seven damage right now. Wherever you are, everyone just kills over and dies. I, think that, I would be unconscious. Was, oh I'd be out for the session. Uh, Damn, we all, we all wake up and I'm, if we all wake up in the woods and I refuse to admit what happened, I go, yeah, I don't know, I'm <laughs> crazy. Just, don't Richard know probably got hit. <laughs> I was walking Damn. down the street, then all of a sudden... Yeah, that's weird. That would have been so good. That would have been so, so funny. funny. Oh, man, I missed that. All right. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, do you I can do it. I can do a loop. Let's, I can... let's, let's, nah, do, let's missed, do a chase. Oh, let's see if you yeah, hell yeah. Not. Yeah, great. I run. Um, as as I can. How does the chase work? You, uh, so we're each going to roll... Full chase. I just want to know if I can catch you or not. So it's, we're each going to roll constitution, and that's going to determine our move rate. So look up the okay. guards. They should have a movement rate listed. Uh, if they succeed their roll, that is their speed. If they fail it, it goes down by one. If they get an extreme, it goes up by one. So I'll do mine as an example. Seven. Yeah, so mine is eight. Oh, I think that's the opposite. If they fail, it goes down because their movement is slower. That's right, that's right. Yes. So I right. succeed in mine, so my movement rate is eight in this. You succeeded yours, theirs is seven. Is they actually can't catch me, really. So as I be, right. and the idea with a with a chase, you would immediately set it as there are a few behind, and I'm you can then throw a bunch of obstacles. So you can see that they might be able to if there's like a bunch of like I get lost in the streets and things, and and basically you do beat by yeah. beat, they're trying to catch up. Except they each round I can take two actions; they can only take one. All right. Well, I mean, they know the streets, and you don't. Yeah. Um, as I said, like I I, I do want to like resolve this. Uh, without too much, too much, uh, too much time, but uh, I do want to know if I, if they can catch you. Or for not. sure, for sure, for sure. You can handle so with just a couple of dexterity rolls. So the way that this do would you have work. A turn or? So currently, you basically set it as I am a few slots ahead of them. Uh, I think actually, sorry, raw. I One think slot? I just I outpace. I think I think I I think I, I can just do it. Right. But um, you can do it like I'm two ahead of them, and then each round you create an obstacle or something, and then we try and resolve it. I have basically two actions to take, so I would move ahead and then maybe try and climb the wall then they could just move ahead then i'm doing the next one and the next one and they're trying to trying to catch all right well i mean in short they're gonna like blow their whistles they're gonna raise the alarm they're gonna ring their bells and uh yeah they know the streets they know all the alleys to jump out of yeah, hell yeah. Uh, there were already a higher presence of them on the street they're going to try to swarm me the obstacle is just there's more of them yeah terrific yeah, I can make so like a dex roll. A dex roll? Dex roll to I can do a dex roll, like, yeah, sure. That works. See if you can like just get around them all and I GTFR. wouldn't handle this as a full chase. That it 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 needs it preps a bit. It's it's a bit of a thing to put together. Yeah, so yeah, I would yeah, yeah, what right. I was just said, yeah, just do a couple dex rolls or something. I can get clobbered a bit. And where I'm gonna I'm gonna head for St. Bartholomew's no. church because I can oh, see no the, the steeple. Like that's gonna be my can. that's gonna be my landmark. So I start heading off in that direction. I could make all navigation, right. whatever you wanna whatever else. That's what you're going for? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um well, yeah, so am I rolling? Oh, this is weird. I'm the keeper. I should yeah. be telling you what to do. Yeah. But I, I need you to tell me what the rules are because I can't remember them. That's all right. So I can just do a couple of... Why don't we do a dexterity roll or something opposed and just see if see if I can just be looping my way around and, and, and yeah. getting away from Dex them. All right, great. Exposed dexterity roll. Love it. Let's Terrific. do that. I'm going to give myself a bonus die because i got more of me. I love that. <laughs> uh, 50. Mm. I fail. All right. I dodge with my face. You're slowing down. I'm inclined to have one more attack on you. <laughs> and then, you get spear tackled, bro. Uh, and if you dodge oh, this, no. we'll get and a navigate suggest, roll to see if you can get to the I say, be gone, church. angels. All you right. will not defend the gates from me. <laughs> Juke can around. I make a suggestion so that like not all of us go immediately unconscious? Because I mean, you can make this... a fighting brawl maneuver to grapple him instead of like Ooh, clobber him. And that way you I can like, like yeah. rather I than hitting like him unconscious. Running, 
As much I could as do I that. Want to if you're running, it's going to be a club up. But I want to get this, club up. This is happening. If if I do manage to like uh, take him out, it's going to happen at the end of your scenes. So we'll definitely get through your scenes at least. Okay. Oh, true, because it's okay. all happening simultaneously. So that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll make um, a, a yeah, dodge roll. Yeah, you know what? You want to try to dodge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me out of here. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. God. Oh, no. About Incredible. time. Incredible. <laughs> All right. This, no, this, this is I am fully so sprinting. Well. A cop comes out, just swings a baton and clothes lines my ass. I I'm pretty sure I'm dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am happy. Like, um, I'm happy again. Dead. Fuck what's yes. This? Yeah. Oh, no, that's all of us. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, all <laughs> took the, we took the full we damage. So yes, we're all dead. So unless anyone's above a twelve, we're all un, we're all unconscious am, and or dead. I am still up. I go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Great, Fantastic. cool. Let's play the rest of this. Although you because now we to know how to end it. To is, it is a major win for all of us. So Jim, you might still end up unconscious for the rest of the the yeah. thing. Which is not going to be wrong because the rest of us. Tobias, Deeper. you don't know these streets. The guards were alerted by uh, by having Hawkins turn into each other. But of course, they're always thicker in the wealthy district, yeah. and they are thicker by the second as soon as the alarm is raised. And the fact that you tried to run, they do not spare you. One of them steps out of the alley, clobbers you in the head with their baton, and you know no more. Well, I really hope this is a groundhog situation and we're about to wake up or else this is just over. Meanwhile, oh, that is a very funny way for a scenario to end. <laughs> and that's the stream, Manuel. What were you doing? I can't remember. Oh, I'm going Man to St. Bartholomew's. Manuel, this could Emmanuel. Be great. Emmanuel, Saint Bartholomew's. Oh. Yeah, interesting. I'm go All right, see what I can because I'm yeah, you know, sneaky. Whatever, I'm gonna see if I can see Fantastic. what I can see, see what I can find. You, know, you, you can kind of, it. I've seen the you, symbols. You can spot it off in the distance. Um, it's not hard to find. You already kind of knew where it was. You know, going fast, you would probably just kind of, yeah, I think you'd get there right about the same time as uh, as the priest is, as um, mm -hmm. Father Joseph, Father Finch. So, yeah, you're probably like, uh, you're, it's seconds away and you can just kind of see him around in the corner and fumbling with Ooh. the keys, muttering to himself, trying to get back inside. Cool. Um, if it's a church, most churches are left open at night. I think for mm, yes, think that is, that is that very is suspicious thing. that he has locked the church. Yeah. Then isn't it? That's odd. That's an odd thing to do. Yeah. Spear attack one. <laughs> Take his ass it's out. It's tempting. He was pretty suspicious. Um, but I'm not fully on board with this being like a Groundhog Day thing. I still want to play it a little bit, a little bit. A little bit sneaky. What do you do? Um, he's unlocking the door, muttering to himself. Oh, well, tell me, I do not have locks, locks my thing. Um, oh, sorry, he's unlocking the door because he's unlocking yeah. the door to go back in. Yeah. I wonder. And he's probably going to lock it behind him once he's inside. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he won't because that, like, at least if he's, he if he's inside and a church is meant to be left unlocked, it's meant then... it's meant to be like it should be it should be unlocked if he's there. So like maybe but if he's I might inside, sneak up as close as possible. I might sneak up as close as possible. Um, I don't want to be spotted at this point. And if I do get a chance to like slip something in to kind of just in case jam it. If not, I'm gonna fingers crossed that he that he does what he is meant to do and leave it unlocked. I would like to get uh, in. Oh, okay, room. gotcha. So you're going to wait for him to go inside? Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. He goes inside. I, I kind of want to find out if he's going to go check other occulty stuff and see what I can find. Fantastic. Find. No, yeah, yeah, good. He goes inside. Yeah. He does not uh, lock the door again. Mm, good. And then do you give him a few seconds and then follow I give, him back I in? Give him, I give him a sec. I give him a, I give him a bit. I give him a beat. And then I would like to kind of quietly go in behind him. All right. Fantastic. He, um, well, so he goes in. And he goes, hello? Levitt? There's no reply. He glances, like, uh, glances around him, so conspiratorially, and then goes over to, where does he go? Um, do, 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 do. Goes over to the altar. Ooh. No. Here we go, here we go. Um, it goes over to a spiral staircase Ooh. beyond the door located behind the pulpit. That's yep, what I was Belfry. looking for. Cool. Yep. There you go. That's what he does. Yes. Uh, there's a spiral staircase behind the pulpit. Goes over, gives one more look around. I mean, you can see him now. Are you being sneaky? 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I would like to slip inside very quietly behind him and yeah, hide yeah. myself. Yeah, let's see yeah. if he uh, spots you. No. Fantastic. No, that's all not right. very good. Um, I wouldn't. I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, you know, um, you know what? If we're all pushing, let's push. Yeah, hell yeah. Sure. So, um, you he's about to spot you. Um, and uh, like he's like about a... to spot you just coming in the door like anyone would, and he already yeah. knows you. He doesn't hate you. If you push this roll and you fail, it's like you were. Oh, he's spotting me like trying. Him. Yeah, he's yeah. He's like gonna spot was... me like trying to creep behind yeah. the pews. That's it. Being suspicious as fuck. Is that right? Is that what you're gonna go for? Huge fan. Fantastic. Have a push. <gasps> Very High good. Five, Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is the last. You're gonna sneak up on him. They're gonna touch you, and until you're just gonna fall over. <laughs> All right. I think you like. He has a look around him. He doesn't seem to spot you. He goes into the, uh, enters the uh, the staircase, disappears in the shadows. You follow closely. You're right behind him. You turn down this tight, starry staircase, and there he is, all of a sudden, out of the darkness in front of you, just kind of like giving you a good shove, trying to knock you over back to the stairs. Um, that's what he would do because he's panicking. I doubt he has any brawl or any strength. He's going for the kill. Um, uh brawl uh 25 yeah no, he oh, he's... slap at you uh ineffectually actually so but close. uh but you know he's saying please please I don't, I don't want any part of this i i i didn't want any part of this to begin with it's off it's all off i'm sorry what's Doesn't... up part of what what is this you don't want to be part of what's off you didn't want any part of what the windmill <laughs> Who are you? Who are you really? I'm a band well. I, I what what are you here. doing I, here? I, I, was, I was supposed to show here uh, and and saw suspicious things and am looking for how to how to make them make them stop and you're involved in whatever this is that you didn't want any part of that is now off. What is off? Levitt. Levitt, he wants the relic. What relic? Relic? <laughs> The holy relic. Oh, God. He's coming for it. I, I know it. He, he, he used he used the witch. He used the promise of a witch. He, he lured me out away from the windmill, and he, so he maybe he kidnapped a young woman, and you are trading a young woman for a bit of what a bit of what a bit of somebody's fingernail. No, no, a I, I, I relic. Uh, I, I protect it. My family has protected it for aeons. And Tobias is going to come for it. Yes. I, I I think so. I think Great, so. Great, let's that's, go for the relic, and I will. That's why he lured me away. It makes and sense. Then I it will make sense. Clobber him when he does. You would do that. I would do that. I would love to do that. Clobbering, clobbering a levitt? That sounds great. Hey. Mm. I need one more persuade roll because now thing. it's like I did sneak up. I did fumble. I, like I did night. push and fail. And he's babbled a lot. He's giving you a little bit. Oh, hard oh, six. Yes. I, I did. I did push and fail a roll. So. Uh, yeah, and that's what required you the roll. Otherwise, you just like probably walked Otherwise up and I said, "Hi, oh, remember me?" Out. He would have gone, yeah. "Oh yeah, let's have a chat." All right. Regardless, uh, you, you, it was a bit of a messy path to get here, but he get lets you in. Down the stairs, true. He lets you into the crypt. Shrouded in darkness, the outer walls lined with alcoves in which rest old coffins. And the center of the crypt, directly under the front, is a stone slab which he kneels down and he brushes off some of the dust, bearing the carving of three crowns upon a shield. And he says, uh, he, ha he has not been here yet. Uh, it has not been lifted. It's fine. It's okay. fine. Okay. Well, let's, uh, you, you, you believe that... Um... That, that that Levitt is going to come for it? He will. Okay, he will. well, uh, you wait for Although... him. I will, and then you bring him down here. Like, okay, okay, sure, you, you can have it. I don't want any trouble. And then I will clobber him. That That is assuming, of course, that, well, his, his man, Hawkins, uh, at the windmill, um, I suppose if Hawkins doesn't return, that, that may tip him off and change his plans. Uh, uh, but, but we have no choice. We must wait. What, what, what else do you know about it? What, 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 tell me what you know. This this thing that is that is off that you don't want any part in. Why did you not want any part in it? 
Uh, Levitt, he he realized he has a witch in his employ. And she came here. She came seeking the holy relic. And now he wants it. And now he wants it. I, I did not know. I thought we were putting this whole thing behind behind us. Um, I thought that we had an agreement. I thought he was he was giving me the witch, and in, in exchange, we could burn her. And in exchange, I, I would I would not impugn oh, that he was good. wrong to employ her, and right. that would be fine. And the relic. Yes, no, that would, would be, be perfectly still. fine. That would be perfect. But why would he want the relic? What does he want it for? The relic it it protects us. It protects us, and it keeps us. It protects protect you. What keeps from? all of all of Suffolk, all of East Anglia, right. uh, from misfortune, from right. from storms, from marauders, from 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 danger, from famine. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as long as it stays here, we are safe. And as long as and it you is trust Tobias kept, to, to, do you trust you trust Mister Levitt? You trust the the, 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 the merchant to, to keep it here? The merchant, the man who sells things for money? No. No, I, I did not you trust him. You were going to give him. it to him. You were going to trade it. You were going to I did not. Just... We agreed that it would stay here. We agreed it would stay kept. We agreed it would stay secret. I think now he did not make that agreement in good faith. No, probably not. Probably not. No, no. Given the man with the large knife. And but the symbols. The symbols. You saw them before. What are the, What are they? The symbols. The symbols. Uh, but witchcraft of the worst kind. That you've read, you've seen them before. You were the, familiar. Uh, uh, I've got the Wikipedia page open. Uh, the key, uh, the uh, no, actually, they back to the 14th or 15th century. Um, well, I mean, that doesn't really matter here, does it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, without a doubt, just witchcraft of the worst kind. I, I, I would not even assume to know what it's bark purpose is only that it is real and it is terrifying okay. but this is fine this is fine uh, we wait we, we wait for levitt yeah, and... if he's not if he's not if he's not if he's got this witch where would he where would he just kind of he was bringing her here uh -huh. to burn her mm -hmm. yeah, yeah uh, and as i said uh, and hopefully he's still coming, and hopefully the loss of Hawkins has not tipped him off. So we leave hopefully. that scene there for a moment. Mm. We find out if the loss of Hawkins has tipped him off and has changed his plans. So Meanwhile, at the Harbour I'm going to clobber a levitt, and then I'm going to clobber a priest, because we're not burning <laughs> any young women today. Not on my watch. Provided I, don't, provided I don't miraculously just drop to the floor dead. That'd be weird. <laughs> mm. That'd be bizarre. That wouldn't happen. Just a, just a random, just a question for like listening along. Go ahead. To confirm. Levitt went to the priest saying, I have employed a witch. Oops. Uh, Big whoopsie. Oops. My bad. Um, about she the, and and Levitt said the witch wants this relic. I will give you the witch, and you can burn her as long as I don't get in trouble for employing a witch. And that's the extent of what the priest was told. Is that correct? One hundred percent correct. Great. And so then, Levitt, Levitt, is, Levitt is, and then Levitt so and the Levitt priest the one... both said, and the relic will stay there, right? And Levitt said, yeah, the relic will stay oh, yeah, there. Yeah, we don't keep totally that relic there. Yeah. yeah. So so it is on Levitt's word that Brown is both a witch and it is, and she's the one that wants the relic. It is not on any other evidence that we have that she actually wanted the relic. It could actually be Levitt who wanted the relic the whole time and made this cock and bull story up just seems because. Kind, yeah, it seems kind of likely given the man with that the knife. That is true to say. One right. important Thank thing you. we should remember is that witches aren't real. Mm. And then put Thank you for bringing that back up. You know, yeah. Thank so you, Jim. Just, <laughs> the harbor in. The yes, door. The burning of the you, witches. You cross under the uh, under the swinging uh, swinging sign of mm -hmm. uh, of a ship. You you enter in the innkeeper. My wife is sleeping. I need everyone to calm down. I cannot have any more stress tonight. Comes back from the group of six sailors around the, uh, in the corner. Am I there a little earlier than last time? 
Or is it about Ooh. the same? Like, uh, it's yes. very reasonable that it he's come be... over and said that to them multiple times. You're right. It would be perhaps a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair to say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I no, mean, yeah, yeah. This is the got first like time. He's actually sentences. not quite so uh, stressed. Uh, yeah. My wife is sleeping. Uh, if we could keep it down this evening, that would be uh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And in the corner, um, an old man. Mm. Not so much leaning on the table and nursing a beer, but like right, like slouched over, almost like a pile of rags when you come in. Still there, still with a drink, but significantly more worn out than last time. Oh, okay. Um, I will make pleasant with the, the bartender and, and just say, you know, I'm uh, visiting. I need a place to stay. Um, if you if you would be so kind, um, and perhaps some um, perhaps a wine. I, I'm I'm a little fatigued. Oh. I'd like to I'd like to uh, nurse oh. something a and any um if you still have any stew or such um on I, I will uh, take a small meal before I retire for the evening. I'm kind we'll of making for you. making noise enough that the I'm hoping that the sailors hear that I am on my own. I am having a wine and a meal and going to bed and are not going to call me over because I'm not interested in having a conversation with them. Uh -huh. Interesting. All right. Yep. Nope. It's worth a shot. Um, they're sailors. They're drunk. They like having. They like making friends. They like boasting. But what do you do immediately after that? After it's all settled? Um, I will take the wine that is poured and make my way over uh, and and slide in to the opposite side of the booth to the to the old man. Um, and uh, and say. So we're here again. And you seem a lot more tired this time round. Could you tell me he, what's going on, please? He, he lifts his head up from the first time that you've seen him tonight. His face is aged 10 years. Holy His wrinkles shit. are deeper. Oh, His jowls no. are lower. His hair is almost gone. Only a few wisps left, whereas it was a full head last time you saw him. Mm -hmm. He raises his oh, head, he yeah. blinks the cataracts out of his eyes, and he says, here we are again. Um, if I look down at my own hands, have they aged, or do I look currently the same? For the, the first same? time, in good light, mm. you look down at yeah. your own hands, and looking closely, mm -hmm. they are slightly more worn slightly more wrinkled oh, and that is shit. something that you all would have seen in each other's faces immediately had you Except. all been together when you found some good lights but instead yeah. immediately we've been hanging out in the darkness in the darkness and no one has seen your own faces okay. each other's faces compared to how you were a moment ago shit. all right uh, that is good to know um I suppose uh, you feel like you look like you got a few more goes around left in you. I don't think I can say the same for me. Well, in that case, what can you tell me? Because I like on the off chance that you do have one more go around. Let's see if we can solve this. Hmm? Henry I'd Scott. Like to help. Henry Scott was born in Dunwich in 1753. I, uh... I made a mistake. I went out to plunder the remains of some graves. The graves, once they were buried in the churchyard, but the churchyard's fallen away, exposed, exposed on the side of the cliffs, you see. Right. I thought I could borrow a few treasures, but no. The storm came in. I heard the bells. I heard the bells tolling under the waves, just like they say you could, and I heard them. And next thing I know, here I am, in purgatory, <gasps> desecrating the holy ground. What? Fucking. I, I, I'm not. I'm not entirely. It seems to be that we're we're stuck in some kind of kind of loop. There must be a way yeah. out. I've been here. I've been here before. Every That's... time. There's another 10 years on me. I don't know how many more I've got left. You've done this four, four times. Right? Um, uh -oh. Like I said, I'm 30 years old. Don't look at it anymore. 
What? Whoops. Did, 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 where, where do you where do you wake up every time? Is it the same place? Is it is it is it a different place? How long how long is the time loop for you? Is is it only a few a few hours? The the, the early part of the, the evening to the to the end of the evening and. Yep. Just about the same time each night, I guess. Uh, the storm picks up. The bell begins to ring. The storm arrives in full force. Trees are uprooted, roofs are knocked off. The bell rings furiously. There's a flash of lightning and then nothing. It's just a few streets away from here that, that I made the mistake of opening the churchyard in fact it's 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 right in the churchyard only in my time you understand it wasn't a churchyard it was exposed cliffs it was where a church once stood and every time i wake up god places me in front of that church that i dared to steal from he places that... me where the worshipers go that's the He's... um so is, is that St. Bartholomew's? Uh, no. No, a different one, a little bit to the west. And I look at the map. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm look just at the need map to know if it's, can... it's related to that. Yeah, for sure. I can tell you. Um, not but search by Bartholomew is one of the other ones. Um, let's say uh, St. Peter's Church. One which, you know, you look at your map that uh, you have. Uh, let's, let's have a look. We've still got the... Uh, uh, I actually let's look at the map that we've got that shows the different different lines. Mm. Let me pull that up. Right, because I'm so, in one that drops into the that goes for a dip. Done which through the ages. Here we go. And, so uh, yeah, the coastline uh, as it was in 1753, right there. No, so it would have been All Saints Church, where mm. the church yard and the graves would have been exposed, but the church probably wasn't in use anymore because it was right on the edge of the coastline. That's where he wakes up. At All Saints right. Church. Okay. Um, no, the bell that that tolls out there in the waves. Well, up here, I suppose. Right. Have you, out of interest, have you ever tried to block your ears and not listen to the bell? <laughs> it's the, the first thing I tried. It doesn't matter. The bells don't ring in your ears. They ring in your body. They ring in your soul. They ring in the city. They ring in the buildings. They ring everywhere. We're in the bells. The bells are all around us. What on earth? Why? Why? Why would these bells mean anything at all? And <laughs> You're why asking is this... me the same questions that I was asking myself. I don't have any more answers than you do now, and I don't have any more time. So you you haven't been able to work anything out. Nothing at all. I've I've told you what I see. I told you what I know. I'm being punished, and I have to accept that. I don't know that that's true. I think this is all very random. This sort of just happens because you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, do I think grave robbing is a particularly moral thing to do well not entirely but also depending on how long how old the graves are those people don't need their things anymore and if you're hungry and tired and, and you need things to get by well they're going to be more helpful to you than they are to the dead and so long as you're moderately respectful to the actual dead people themselves i i don't know that i see an actual problem with it Thank you for your counsel. I'll be sure to explain that to the Almighty when I see him. For now, I'd like to enjoy the rest of my drink and fade away. My fails are in, my failures are in my past. My sins are in my past. I'm ready What's... to go on. I, I'm I'm glad to uh, hear that. To be honest, uh, I'd suggest you do the same thing. Make peace Wait with this out. world. Make peace with this world as best you can. And you prepare to meet your end. That's just an old man's advice. He kind of laughs at the word old man because he's not. He had his life stolen from him. And at that moment, an alarm comes up from the sailors. One of the sailors has gone outside to relieve himself in the street. 
And he comes back in and he says, Sarah's house is on fire. Just a few streets over. Miss, Miss Brown, her, her house is on fire. She wasn't there when I was there earlier today. Check in on her. Someone's burning it down. Uh, I will run out into the street, as I assume, as you I run set out foot the over street. the threshold and pass and All of a sudden, there's a huge mm -hmm. clanging directly onto your skull. Mm -hmm. Everyone feels a huge clang directly onto your skull as you feel like a fracture Whoa. or some Ow. kind of terrible thing bursts into unconsciousness and it clangs no. with the sound of a bell. So I'm going to wait here and as soon as Levitt comes around the corner, I'm going to close... Bang. Thanks. Notably, Love Jackson. Uh, what were you, yeah, Richard. You probably were. What, what were you up to? Walking down when the you... street, uh, heading towards the pub. Fantastic. Uh, hands in my pockets. Uh, <laughs> 10 damage. I... <laughs> and then and you're I, I unconscious. Take points of damage and plus the two that I took earlier. It's a major wound. I made the check earlier. Oh, major that's wound? true. It actually you is were still, still standing. Uh, I can tell you that uh, as I'm soon as one of you hits the dirt, you all, all hear the bells. Cool. Okay. I figured as much. Uh, and you totally all fade now away. We know, now we can see the terms though. Yeah. All right. Cool. Very good. The bells fade. The town fades the forest fades back in a moon lit night crickets chirping an owl swoops low following the path of the west blots out the moon for a second and now um elizabeth that you know what's happening now you can see even in the light you're all 20 years older than you were Richard when you must first be getting a little into this uh, forest Ollie. And now so, that this is your third loop, everyone gets their health back up, but everyone loses 1d10 from all of their statistics. <laughs> Hell yeah! All of them. I'm gonna double check that. I just yes. made that up, and I'm gonna double check that's accurate. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different to right. the regular aging rules. Hell yeah! You roll 1d10, subtract oh, that amount from funny. each characteristic. Oh, okay, so just the same Yeah, range. which will start to affect your damage bonus and your movement rates and your hit points. Oh, God. Incredible. Oh, good. That's oh, a oh, roll. Ten. oh, no! Oh, good, we love this. <laughs> I, I want to... Yeah! You're insane! <laughs> Amazing. Richard's looking good. all right. <laughs> <laughs> now yeah. you huh? know that, uh, yes, it's it's... You're right. It's do, Groundhog do Day, but our... you don't have infinite loops. Is oh. it um? Is it all attributes or all physical? All. Uh, it says all characteristics. All characteristics Each of your everything. characteristics, not okay. skills, but all the characteristics up the top. Seventy-eight strength. Uh, Fifty-eight dexterity. Forty-eight intelligence. Does um, size change stupid. as well? That's a weird one. It's I, I I'm, I I'm know, giving I know, you the letter. Yeah, yeah, hell all. yeah. And of course, you Magical should also point. now have added twenty years to your age. Oh, 53. Uh Jackson, I've got I've got actually two different age values uh, listed for me. Oh yeah, uh, there was a, a, a take the uh, take the higher one. Oh, I figured sure. it out. You were thirty-seven. You're now fifty-seven. The okay, streaks perfect. of grey have appeared in right. all of your hair. The um, first thing that I am going to do is tell everyone. Every time we do this, we age ten years. And it's very so, obvious this time shit. around. Shit. And so. Oh, I hate this. Have... Oh, I hate this. What just happened? What just happened? I got the worst headache. Oh. I don't know, but I'm, I'm, going to, <laughs> I'm going to assume we spend a few moments filling each other in on what the hell happened and like what we found. Oh, I've got point. Doozy. Yeah. And Let's I be walking while we're filling the witch, it. The trade, the yeah. relic, the relic in St. Bartholomew's, which. And, and I guess I'm on board with this being some kind of supernatural just fuckery. I, so it's, if it's, the, the relic, relic is what. If the relic is what's protecting the town and the relic is being stolen, then perhaps if we can stop the relic being stolen, then this doesn't happen. Well, and I suppose we stop Sarah Brown from perishing, because it sounds like, well, when we stopped the priest dying, then Sarah was obviously not like dealt with in, in 
her house started burning down, which is not what happened last time. So it sounds like Levitt, potentially, if we stop the priest dying, we'll, we'll go to Sarah's house and, and, and burn that down rather than going to the church. So if we let the priest succumb to his fate, we know where oh, he's going to be. Him. He's going to go he to the church. To burn a young woman. So, so but if we can just... remember, it wasn't it wasn't Levitt himself who who murdered the priest. So Levitt is somewhere no. else. That's what I mean. I suspect that Levitt is once the 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 man says he's done his business. Levitt goes to, to the church the and takes. And I know where it is. Yes, we we do. And I suspect in that situation, perhaps he will have Sarah with him. If he doesn't, then we know we have to find her as well. I don't know how many more goes we have around of this, but we need to try and work this out sooner rather than later. Because I, for one, would like to return to you know I feel our terrible. place in time. Now, I, feel, I think that well, might just he be did a memory. The door. He did lock the door. The priest did lock the door of the church. Um, so we get through. Well, are there windows? I I th- I think we just get the I think we get the keys. It's an, it's a church. It is very very sturdy. I don't like our chances of getting in without the keys. We don't. Um, well, can we just jump the priest on the road ourselves? Steal everything. That's what I was from thinking. Him, tell he's us a, where the a, relic is, or we'll crack jump your head. Take the keys. Get the get we the. We don't need to. First. He, we know where the relic is. Yes. Well, we just I need the key. Which is assume yeah, attacking priests is unlikely to get us a favorable outcome. Well, but this is a baddie priest, right? He's kind. Honestly, he is no. kind of a douchebag. He was going to murder this young woman. All the same, if we can do this without harming the father, I think that's the way to I mean, go. Alternatively, well, and I, I don't. Faith, are we not? Although, well, maybe we should not do that because he was carved in with all sorts of symbols, and that can't be good. Alternatively, they just did that to make it look like something it wasn't. So that if they did find him. There's witches and relics and also symbols. I suspect the symbols aren't just a like a goof. Well Well, then Wait a wait a minute. We 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 reckon we reckon that this guy in the tower is just like a hired whatever, right? He's a goon. Yeah. Mm. So we get into the tower, we shout up, we say, Hey, listen, Levitt betrayed you. He sent us to kill you. But we're not going to do it because uh, we figured out it's best we turn against this guy. He's got all the money, so why don't you? Where'd you last speak to Levitt? Get Every... all that info from him. All yeah. right, we can try. Seems like adding complications to it, right? If sure. we just do all the yeah. same steps, if we just do everything the same, he will leap out that window and knock himself the fuck out. We can just repeat. Let's just repeat everything. I think that all I went don't know fine. About that. I don't, we, we know things are going to change because we, the things have changed before so i i okay all right, I well, it's... down that way and i'm gonna point to the other side of the, the other the other path you've stayed here for long enough you're not yeah. completely ad- oh, don't have your bearings um if you say what's down that way you could have a listen roll yeah i'm not very good at this but uh i yeah. can no. what's my listen uh only base i mean i can listen or one of us can go and have a look while the others head to it's the... Kind of, it's kind um, of weird that that owl just keeps flying down there. Anyway. Is it a forest? There's owls in forests. I suppose, I suppose. I, if we know where the relic is, it seems like we need to get the relic. We need to get the keys off the priest. Or we need to, to find relic. another way in. We need the relic, we need the, we need the young woman, we need Sarah, and we need to make sure that the storm does not come in. I suspect the ringing of the bell is the force of the storm ringing, like the force of the wind ringing the bell, that's what sets us all off. The relic is taken, the storm comes in, and then the town is sunk. So if we can stop the storm coming by by keeping Sarah safe and the relic in place, I mean, it might not be the relic that's doing it. It could just be this woman. It could be, but um, the the relic is seems to be part of it. I don't know if it's worth a gamble to, to, to ignore it. No, I don't think so either. I think we can work on the basis that it might be important, but I suspect if everyone's talking about this young woman as being the lucky charm of the town, then it's going to be yes. more important for us to find her. And I, I know you said that Levitt speculated that, that she was it wanted the relic for something, but I think perhaps we can assume that's a lie. Oh, well, 100% everything that man seems to say is a lie. Um... I think the simplest thing is get back to the town, as the city, as soon as possible, and search for the woman and the relic. We have, we only have so much time 
Yeah. It's moving yeah, quickly. Let's do it. Town, We're... town, woman, really. Also, I mean, it, it's all on the way, right? We can assume that whether whether we have the priest enter the the um the church or this ruffian, who I assume took the key and is going to hand it over to Levitt, and therefore they will have access to the church. It doesn't really matter who opens the door as long as someone does. Well, we can stop true. them. That's true. Yeah, I mean, we can, we, we can uh, take the key off the off the of the ruffian. Could we follow the ruffian to get him to lead us to Levitt? Potentially. No. Yeah. Take the key off him as well. Well, I just, I I think that I think that a few of us should try and get to Sarah's house. We know where that is now. Um, and she's and already, and... already missing. So the bias already has her. I don't know if the bias already the other the other Levitt, not not William. Yes, William yes, but already makes has us... him. But why a... would they burn her house? Down they probably put her back. They, I think you put her back if, in. Let's get there and find out. She's already I don't think we missing. have the information. We know that she is missing. And we, we just quickly, we know that we that are walking burnt towards. We are going down the path. Of... Oh, point, by the way. I was going to say, are you yeah. we're not just standing here, gas back. This is a conversation we're having because we know how yeah. far it is to the edge of the okay. woods. We're not just going to stand there. We're this is a moving yeah. conversation. Yeah. Very good. Well, yeah. I mean, I was going to say, if it was if it was a conversation you were having there, you might have heard something. No, but I, I, roll. I Otherwise, if you were, like, are you, you, roll, so I been, are you huh, uh, once again like going hard to beat Ev, uh, beat Joseph to the windmill? I think we're moving as quickly as we can. Yeah. Or I don't think you... we care about beating Joseph to the windmill at this point. But we're um, still going. We're get ganked. But we're just going. We're going as fast as we can towards the city. I think is yeah. The, yeah. Oh, so are yeah. we just going to skip the windmill? Like not um, into I don't think we're skipping them in. We're gonna we're gonna let. All right. Well, look. Gang. Once again, if you are uh, uh, like going at the same pace out of the forest as you were before, yeah. you will head out of the forest. You will emerge into the field. You will see Father Joseph. Yeah. Father we're also Joseph twenty Finch. years older, so probably moving a little now slower. Now I think we peel off. I think some people go straight to Sarah's house. Oh no, you won't do that to me again. <laughs> No, it's fine. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I think some people go to. I think this is like the one scenario and... where that is really hard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, the, like the alternative we, we... is that we follow the same steps that we did before, with the information we the that we now have. I, I think, think we, we can, let the I think get I, ganked, I, I and we, we follow the we follow uh, we follow the ganker, because he would have taken the key. We can take the key off him to get to the relic. Yes, but well, he's going to have a very or, large knife and intact legs if we don't scare him out the window. We can let him lead us to Tobias, who will have the woman, and then we William. have the key and the woman. William, yes. Um, did you have a suggestion, yeah, David? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Helpful. Um, I'm yeah, I sorry. Like I, yes, mine is we rush for the city and just start going to places where we know information is. Like we just go straight to Bartholomew's church. We can get there before anyone is there. We can just break shit until we find it. But the, I think the issue is that we don't want the relic to be taken. So the relic being in the church is fine. If anything, we need to stop anyone from opening that church door and we need to keep Sarah safe. Yeah. So so long as no one is able to get to the church, we don't actually need to be there. We know where it is. We also we don't, don't know need that. to move it. We also don't necessarily know that. I mean, it, it is implied by the by old mate saying he robbed the church and blah, 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 bullshit happened. Uh, let's grab the, I don't, I let's that's grab that's the knife his, guy his and his question reasoning. him. Yes, it's guy. implied, but we don't know it for sure that robbing the mm. church of the relic is going to do the thing. Sarah well, is involved rob... somehow, so I'm yeah. just putting yes. I'm just putting it out there that we don't know that for sure. Yeah, we don't know that for sure. Removing the relic is going to cause the problem. We're, that's an assumption. That I well, I think I think the old the implication I got from the old man was that he did he like his thing was a storm came in and where he was at the time the storm hit was where he woke up him doing grave robbing has got nothing to do with him like being in this situation that's just his logic for like oh this is how i make sense of this because we weren't stealing from a church sorry we don't know that we were stealing from something that's true well we were bringing things from denmark into the country i I don't i yeah i i'm happy to Uh, i think yeah yeah same as unknowns that's all that's fair um and reasonable tm so we're yeah, going I... to let the priest get ganked and then follow the ruffian. In short Sounds order, good. you emerge out from the trees. You see Father Joseph Finch this taking kind of his good. last walk well, we could just out defend of the, the church. city. Walking down without a care in the world. <laughs> I... Taking a deep breath, breathing in the night air. <laughs> Looking around at the trees and the moon and the Lord's creation. Thinking about I'm not you know, super how fortunate he is. About this. <laughs> Other people yeah. can make a different choice. In the I think we should. I, I think we should the, stop I them. I made the. I think we should choice I, to 
borderline spear tackle him last time, somebody else can make a different choice. I don't think I could willingly sit by and, and watch a, a person get bored, murdered, and uh, ritually scarred. So let's. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna head up at least and. All right, let's do it. That. Okay. Hey, we all we all get in there. We just kick the nuts out of him and chuck him out the window. Piece of like do we it. know where he is. Everyone grab a grab a gun into the mix. All right. Uh, so are you uh, are you stopping? Uh, is he stopping uh, Father Finch outside? Leave him. him Let's, we'll just like. Why don't we just go in first? Yeah, we just go in. The, you just be like, hey, dude, hey, evening, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one, one, I mean, once again, like uh, he's about to go into the windmill. Yes, yeah. so you're gonna have a hard time beating him unless you stop him outside oh, like he did last time. All right, more I, will, We're just I will. I will walk past him. I will stop him outside. Yeah. I, I will engage him in conversation. Um, we can just push past uh, and I, head into I, the windmill. I do think if Emmanuel is the one to do it we will potentially have the same outcome as last time. He will stop and believe us because it's happened before. I'm not very persuasive. Um, but I, I can I will also stick outside given he jumped out the window last time That's and I'm going to stand there looking up. I'll go up <laughs> I'll go up with Richard though, just so he's got backup in case it changes and the old mate gets the knife out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the, oh, he might do a runner again. All right. So, um, Emmanuel and Elizabeth outside. Um... Stop. We do know where he falls now, so I'm going to make sure that I'm well, not in the way of that. <laughs> we know where he fell last time. We don't necessarily know that he will fall there again. Also, I would like to remind you that that man there that we are about to intercept and save his life was more than happy to burn a young woman about your age at the stake. And he would You're do not it my again. age anymore. Um, he stops outside. He says, Stake oh, burning women. Perfectly fine good. if they're poor, I suppose. Right, <laughs> Elizabeth? It's okay to burn poor women. Good not evening. Nobles. Good, good evening, evening sir. Travelers. Etc. Etc. We won't do the whole role play, but I mean, I'm inclined to get you another game. The persuasion chest with yeah. a bonus die yeah. because you've oh, yeah. met him, you've talked to him, you know more than he does. But let's see if you get him on side. Yeah. There yeah. We go. Yep. So Fantastic. Uh, what do you say? Same story. Man with a knife inside. Saw a dude with a knife go in. Didn't look very friendly. Whoever you're here to meet. Blah, blah, blah. Man with a knife. Etc. Man with a knife. Inside. Once again. Uh, closed barrels of oil on the ground floor. I'm just sneaking up to the second floor. The two of you, are you trying to sneak? Because last time you didn't sneak, and so uh, uh, Hawkins just like saw you come in I will, and uh, made a run for it. I will. I will find something club-like and attempt to sneak. Ah, uh, would you? Uh, do you uh, uh, should I just walk up? Yeah, go for it. I'll just. I'll just sneak uh, up behind you. I'll be, I'll be cool. Plan B. I don't want to get jumped I, either. So. I, I do exactly as I did last time. <laughs> Uh, all right. Yep. Nope. That's fine. Exactly as you did last time. He sees you coming. He realizes the gig jig is up, and he's gonna have another roll. Like, let us be clear. Yeah. The, 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 we can let the dice decide yeah. about whether he's going to. Yeah, but can he have a penalty because die? of what happened last time? <laughs> uh, there's a bit. There's a bit of oh, like animalistic fear in his brain. Like, can I also, if we know where he's here, can, can I try and can we try and grab him as he makes a break for it? Oh, no, yeah, that is absolutely fair. Um, yes, you... Yeah, the fact that you know exactly where he is... And what um, he's going to do. ...absolutely gets you a surprise attack if you want to have a fighting brawl roll to grab him before he jumps. Can I give... Sure. I think uh, that's entirely fair. Can I give Richard a bonus dice on this rather than making my own attempt? Uh, yeah, 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 no, yeah, this is fair. I'll go for his legs. Um, he All right. Like, um, I will attempt to grab him and hold him in place. Fighting brawl. Here we go. Throw him out the window. <laughs> and with a bonus, yeah. nice. that is oh, a yeah. hard success. Oh, a hard success. Well, now, um, should I have rolled first? I think I should have to roll first again. I don't run no, this no, game no, very no. often. You can do no, second because no, 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 no. if we want to spend luck. Um, all right, fantastic. Uh, oh, does he have luck? Outstanding. No, 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 no. If we want to uh, spend luck. He, he would he would try to fight back. Um, he's a bit of a, a nasty piece of work, but he fails as well. So you have grabbed him and restrained him. Is that right? Yep. Bonk, and I'll bundle him outside. Uh, take take him down and, and hold him in place so that the others can question him. All right. I mean, does he get a chance to get back? He's got a higher dexterity than you. Can he have a turn? What has this worked? Does he have like, a fighting brawl roll to get out of here? Yeah. He's uh, get out of here. If you, you can yeah, run a full yeah, combat I mean, if you want. They continue to struggle. In which case. Do you want, how, how about I make an intimidation check? Uh, say, for sure, absolutely. You, I say, you stop struggling or I'll throw you out the window. Intimidate away. Old glass yeah. shins. Hell yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to go out that window. <laughs> no. Um, uh, he stops struggling. He keeps his scarf on. He bides his time. Very good. Um, when he gets downstairs, I think I'm... 
if no one minds, mm. I'll walk up uh, and say, excuse me a moment, Father. Um, what, what was this fellow's name again? We did get the name Hawkins. You got it? the name from the constable. Yeah, Richard did. Uh, Hawkins. Richard Hawkins goes by glass shins in some communities. Killer for hire. Who the bloody hell is calling me glass shins? Sorry, Ralph. Ralph is his name. Ralph Hawkins. Ralph, um, Ralph Hawkins, sorry. Mr. Hawkins, um, you don't know us, but we know you. And um, we also know your employer, Mr. Uh, Mr. Levitt, who is planning on double-crossing you um, because he wants all of the money for himself. We have found out about this, and we'd like you not to kill this nice priest uh, who is here on the basis of false pretenses. Double cross me. He yes. pays me. He pays me a salary. He pays me well, and I do my job well. I should not believe that. Uh, well, because once this job's done, he's not going to need you anymore, and he's not going to want anyone to know what has happened to Miss Brown, who is incredibly important. Ask him about you the might, symbols. You might be valuable, but you are much more valuable, dead and silent at the end of all of this. Doesn't matter how we know, we just know. So, if you'd like to not be dead at the end of all of this, it would be very much in your interest if you could help us find out where Miss Brown is and make sure that Mr. Levitt doesn't get his hands on any kind of relics. And I'll look to the priest at this one, like, as well to sort of hopefully shock the father into realising we know what's going on so that he can back us up. Because um, uh, at the end of the day, we'd, we'd really rather like this to all resolve, as it were. Uh, am I hearing a persuade or intimidate role? Look, you can take, you can have a persuade. Uh, technically, some of what I'm saying is a lie. We don't know that uh, Levitt is going to double cross this man. We just uh, are making. Oh yeah, that's true. Stuff. No, yeah, that's actually true. Yeah, definitely a fast talk then. Um, is there? Yeah, all right. I was gonna. Is anyone willing to help me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I will. I will. Or help. Is it, uh, I give you a bonus straight up because you already know a lot of the facts. I have yeah. no fast talk. Never mind. I actually have quite high, what? so I can. Yeah. Oh well, <laughs> shit. Nice. Well, now, Hell, yeah. critical success that does earn you quite a bit. You, you reveal, you reveal that it was Levitt who called you called him glass shins. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take it well. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to lay out pretty much everything without the like time loop thing, but lay out everything that we've got and the fact that there is a storm coming, and if that storm hits. A lot of people are going to die. A lot of people we care about are going to die, and we'd like that to not happen. And we believe Obviously. that Levitt has something to do with it. I don't know anything about a storm, but obviously you've done your research. No one's called me Glashin since I was in diapers. <laughs> I don't know what resources you have, but I have to respect them. We know that Miss Brown is an important part of this community, and people believe she is some kind of lucky charm. What's happened to her? Mr. Hawkins. Levitt caught her. Levitt caught her. caught her getting into this old geezer's church, trying right. to steal the crown. The crown? Wow. The... <laughs> the crown? Ask him about it. He'd tell you more than I can. Uh, I, 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 no, no. Now listen to him. Brown's in the church, obviously. Let yes. it around, think it's valuable. Forgive me, Father. Are we talking about uh, a slab of stone or a literal crown? Because we do know about the stone. We have a lot of resources, as this uh, man has said. He's just kind of like shudders a little bit and he realizes everything suddenly is so far above his head he needs to mm -hmm. clamp down that's what that's what father the father finch is thinking does it matter apparently they believe it does something all right that's all that matters i don't care if it grants wishes i don't care if it's a lump of metal they want it and in my line of work people something that people want has value that's all that matters so brown tried to get the crown all right levitt caught her Levitt wants the crown, to be plain. Levitt can get the crown if Brown is accused of being a witch and this old geese is taken out of the picture as well. Why can't he get the crown regardless of those things? And just break Fighting it and up take loose it. Ends. I... We, we're professionals. Right, Should so 
tidying up loose ends as in he doesn't want anyone else to know the crown is there, so or take out Miss Brown and, and remove the priest. Is that correct? Where is he keeping Miss Brown? His house. She's getting kept very comfortable. And where are you meeting Levitt tonight? I suppose I have to find him best I can. Not meeting him anywhere, I suppose, if you got me pinned down. And I suppose I wouldn't be meeting him if uh, I was sent on my way with a bit of a heavier person when I got here. That yes, is sure, sure, absolutely whatever. something that we can arrange. All right, then. All right, uh, then. How much out of interest is Mr. Levitt currently paying you? And please do be honest, we do know a lot. Uh, I don't know how currency works. Um, Again, let me you do a credit rating roll. What is what is he like, says a number? What is Levitt, Levitt doubles it? Levitt What's is Levitt's fairly, credit rating? Oh, that's a really good question. Levitt is fairly wealthy, and uh, Hawkins, despite what you saw that last night, is quite uh -huh. good at his job. <laughs> um, yeah, we so that. you will have to round it up a bit. NPCs, uh, William Levitt, credit rating. Eighty. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Um, so he'll say a number, and then he'll give you another number higher than that. Um, yeah, he, yeah, it would be like a sizable amount to send him on his way. You would have to, yeah, conjure that from your pockets, or yeah. do a good enough job of promising that he can get it. Or tie him up. Just say, oh, you know, in the windmill no, no, no. Him Stop the music. That's the killer for hire. My family, my family is no, like. We are, we have, my family has been in this area since the Norman invasion, which is about 200 years at this point. And I'm sure I have some, some kind of something on me that has my family crest for this exact purpose. For so, sure. You know, What's I your credit suspect, I, I would in, my I would credit rating a is, credit rating roll. My personal credit rating is 70. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what my family's is. Let's say that your family at this time period of time is also 70. Yeah, so right. let's see what weight your family name has. Well, that is a success. Fantastic. So I will uh, uh, I yeah. will give him a, again, pocket, like Extended I have rate. money on me, the standard sort of like however much your credit rating gives you. I will give him uh, a, a sum that is like to help him on his way to getting out of town and, and towards where my family home is. I will give him... Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I will show him the crest. I will not give it to him, but I will I give him a, a like, um, I'll get a piece of paper and do like a rubbing on it and write, which is something that is probably of like it proves that like I am learned and, and what have you. And I will give it to I him and you. I will say that you are welcome to uh, find new employ with the Devo family. Uh, I suspect they could have use of someone with yeah. of your caliber. Yeah, I should have known. I can tell by the nose now. <laughs> Devereux, no doubt about it. Yep, no, I get you. I think this has been a very profitable evening for all of us. Uh, one last thing. Mm. If there is a... If you've ever had to enter Mr. Levitt's establishment without being seen by anyone who does not want you to be seen, is there an alternative way into that property? I don't know. I never had to break in myself. I haven't given her that much for it, to be honest, if I wanted to. A servant's um, entrance or something this... like that. Yeah, yeah, no, look, probably uh, this time of the week, there's only one servant in there, Miles. He's a bit of a wiry old chap, but it's only one of them. He's actually not that old. <laughs> <laughs> he is in our line of work. Let's see. Oh, I understand. Well, thank you, Miss Hawkins. You've been very helpful. Um... Have a wonderful rest of your evening. You know what? I think I will. And the same to you, Father. And he, like, sarcastically dips <laughs> in imaginary hat <laughs> and skulks into out. the night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, right, oh. well, um, I, I suppose you've just... Um, <laughs> Saved your life. ...the right to murder me from uh, him. Uh, yes. No. Is it? No, no. <laughs> well, I suppose... <laughs> Well, no. you, you, would you like to purchase the right to murder yourself for, for the price of where's the relic? I know where the relic is. I've seen it. I know where it is. I've, I, yeah, you, tell I us about it, it then. 
like because we have there's some confusion yeah. around crown yeah, yeah. keeps getting thrown about give us the details and we and the keys details and keys um in whichever yeah, order really you to him much yet um are you uh, are you also trying to intimidate him or I'll, I'll I think that is the strategy we're using right now. He's just seen you like hand over a pile of money to this terrible like brigand, like this hardened criminal. He's got a dark impression of you already. I, I double check with the boss first. I, I can't cast a quick. Uh, am I good to 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 apply the 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 talking stick? <laughs> Uh, call yeah, I, I think in this case, because we want information quickly and we already know that he is in over his head and probably doesn't quite know what's going on, yes, I think we just need to know what this thing is. We need to know, we need to be able to get to it and we need to be able to stop. What I do want to impress upon him is we are interested in stopping Levitt from taking this thing. We think it's important and we want it protected. So there is like, yes, it, a carrot and stick. Stick yeah. being, tell us or we'll break your kneecaps. Carrot being, but we are actually on your side. It's on the balance. As soon as you bring kneecaps into it, it is an intimidating <laughs> role, but yeah. definitely have a bonus side because you have all this information. Thank you very much. And and no, don't worry. This stick is very good at making impressions. <laughs> I press upon him is it though? Uh, nice. several times it before is. I start asking questions. <laughs> a hard success, he says. Hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. My family has kept this secret kept the crown of East Anglia safe. And it all ends with me. It does. I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry, Maybe you should reconsider the whole burning women thing. That might have something to do with your uh, lack of effectiveness. Uh, th that probably doesn't register. <laughs> oh, I bet it doesn't. And the is muttering under her breath at this oh, point. Oh, like, God. <laughs> if I only knew she was a witch earlier, we could have had this all sorted out faster. A damn witch. All right. There were three ancient kings of East Anglia. Each of their crowns, they keep East Anglia safe as long as they remain buried in the stone, in the earth, in the sea, out of sight. One of them was entrusted to my family generations, generations ago. And it's still safe under the crypt in St. Bartholomew's. That is what Miss Brown was trying to take. That is what Mr. Levitt will be trying to take tonight. And right. Three, three, three crowns then. Where are the other two? Uh, if any one person knew that, well they'd have wealth and power beyond belief uh, i doubt anyone does um it, 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 very few people know the location of a single crown though apparently uh, numbers expanded significantly this very evening <laughs> is is that you said You're one welcome. in the sea one in the earth one in the stone was that it do you know we i wonder how the Levitt family got so rich and powerful in the first place all right well good we, we we know that this is a there's a crown that's currently... So that's what's underneath the so stone with stop three crowns on it. So it's not the tablet that's the problem, it's what's underneath it's it. The, it's the crown on it. We need right. to stop anyone from it getting it. It had not been tonight. disturbed, so we, so we knew that it hadn't been taken. So All right. So we need to make sure that's safe. We also know that Miss Brown is being kept in Mr. Levitt's house. We don't know where Mr. Levitt is at the moment, uh, although ostensibly... He may try, now that uh, Hawkins is not around, we do know that he may plan on setting Miss Brown's house on fire, whether or not she's in it or not, I don't know. So I think we need to try and get her as quickly as possible, find out why she seems to have wanted the crown. Especially given she seems to have been a rather a good luck charm for the city. You just, I've not heard anything bad about her except from this old good. Well, so if the mm. crown being taken is what's causing us to reset, um, we should go. We should probably be protecting no, that. The, yes. The the storm arriving is what causes us to reset. We don't entirely know whether that's We're coming, regardless. Sure. But... Yes, we don't know if that's causing the storm. Yeah. But possibly okay. the storm Might. arriving and the crown not being there is why everything falls into yeah. the ocean. Yeah. Um, all right. We're getting to the end of the of the session. We should get some <laughs> final intentions. I don't have a cliffhanger to pull out of my ass this time. No, that's okay. <laughs> I think we I think uh, towards the city. And I think towards it's towards the, the city. I think, I think it's think... towards Tobias and and Tobias and Sarah. 
William and Sarah. William, but yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, so we, know, we also know Sarah's being kept, Sarah's being kept at William Levitt's house. I think this time we just go there yes, and we Levitt. don't raise the alarm with the guards. We just kick the nuts out of that guy and find Sarah. I yeah, think we that's just so. bum rush all mate. Yeah. Get in the house. I think the most important thing, though, is if Levitt... Because Levitt didn't go to the church when you were there. As, as far as we know, but there is still a possibility that if he finds out that we've broken into his house, he will still go to the church and try and get it. So I'm not sure whether yeah. we need to make sure that someone is there to to stop that from happening or not. Or whether we have time to get Sarah and then get to the church and stop this gentleman. And Well, he'd go past us to get to the church. It's on the way. That's true. Either um, way, well, we're bound for we're yeah, bound. We're bound for the, for the city. Yeah. So let's head for Dunwich so and figure it out there. Yeah. Just for some poetic justice, if we can find some way of yeeting Mr. Levitt off a cliff into the sea, that would be quite nice. William. <laughs> Love it. To, to be clear. <laughs> all right. Well, it sounds uh, like your family has something to do with all of this, so I really don't mind which Levitt goes into the sea, but... Okay. Oh, cool cool I sins do. of the father, but, you know, go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Ooh. I do absolutely... I do absolutely mean William. <laughs> We will leave Chuck our Elizabeth investigators walking the uh, the stony path from the windmill up to the city of uh, Dun uh, Dunwich, Dunwich for the third time. Maybe for the last time? Maybe mm. not for the last time. It's difficult to say. It's difficult to know where their paths will take them or whether they'll take them straight back to where they came from. Either way, Nobody that would... Uh, that was another session of Call of Cthulhu. Well, uh, fantastic. session of Amaranthine Desire from, uh, from Nameless Horus. Hell yeah. Available at chaosium.com. We had a great time. We, we did. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, weirdly enough, at the same time next week, even though we're in the past. Yes. Oh, no, we're stuck in a time loop <laughs> as well. Uh, oh. <laughs> And oh, we no. will be back. We will be back in person live. Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 We'll be real again. And from our perspective, it'll be two weeks before we play. So I've got oh, time to sure. read the scenario actually, <laughs> going on and figure out how exactly you folks are going to break it. Yeah. Hell so yeah. Good. I Fantastic. Probably well, I'll probably put it off to the last minute again. I think that Jax has been doing an amazing job. I think he's doing a, a great job. I think we learned so, a lot this week. You know, just some some props. Some props for, for Jackson no. for it's for making me feel that... a lot better about keeping yeah, same in the future. Yeah. So <laughs> Go off. definitely you run well. the, the yeah knowing it's that fire you fire two me. you two can run this scenario. And oh, just yeah. kind of make it up as you go along, sort of, but also not really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah. I hope that everyone has the same experience <laughs> running this scenario of like, oh man, that means if they stop that, then that's going to happen it's, over it's there. It's a tough and now one. They're splitting up. Why are they splitting up? <laughs> <laughs> Good time as well. Yeah. Hello. All right. Let's do this again sometime. Fantastic. See you we'll next see week. You.